What is up, guys? How we doing? Hey, Seabrooks, thanks for popping in. Enjoy that concrete. Concord Mills Mall. My old favorites, of course. All the things we have to do today. We've got some things. Let's start with what I fixed this morning while I was watching Slim. That's this. I raised this, gave a different slip road up to there because we were having weird issues with this spot here on the harbor where all the vehicles choose to spawn and my road was in it and it was causing all kinds of blockage on the road. So by getting rid of it, but kind of like this guy where they're all getting out here is causing It's causing all kinds of problems right there and it totally had this backed up so i took it out and gave it a little around give it a little uh, bypass underneath another little opportunity for some height i have not looked to see yet i want to make sure that the trucks can get under here and stuff see these trucks they, they aren't even going anywhere they just spawn and then disappear which is even weirder I was sitting here watching it forever like how am I gonna fix this but I think just giving it another lane so that the traffic that could come through here could actually bypass that and go that way that's all I really need so we'll probably detail this up that probably means that we'll head towards the baseball stadium today because this is gonna be the eyesore and I think it's kind of cool looking actually so I'm actually kind of excited about it once we get it detailed up as long as it is, I need a car to come under here. Oh, I know what else I did. I did this because I had such a problem, didn't I? Let's see here. I think I made it so they couldn't come straight through. See, it's this whole pausing to like unpack the car or whatever that they're doing. I don't really understand it. I might add another lane here just so they have somewhere else to do it. I was thinking about that too. But right now it's not, I mean, it's only backed up to there right now. We'll see how bad it really gets. I wonder if these guys have stopped actually driving out because I limited that turn and it's because they want to go the other way or something, which would be even weirder. So strange. I see people walking through there, so I know the node's not broken. Let me reset it just to be sure. I did something up here. What did it do? It's kind of weird what it did. It did something because of that? I mean, people are crossing, people are walking. There's a car. Yeah, there's not gonna be any cargo trucks down here, so I should be fine, I think. Camper is the only one that I can think of that could still give me problems. Okay, we're gonna have to fix these condos today. We're gonna have to figure out what we're doing around the monorail station today. And I think we'll move over here to this part of the stadium, try to figure out what we're going to do around the stadium to hide all the weirdness. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a happy Saturday. We're going to play some cities. I'm anti Tar Heel.
they're going the way I want them to go. Okay, now all the cars are coming this way, so that node must have been broken. Very interesting. And maybe that's why they were stopping despawning. These are still despawning now, but whatever. All right, let me get a sip of water. We'll get started. Hey, what's up, Mr. Harry? Welcome in. Oh, Mr. Harry, you missed the FIFA stream of all FIFA streams last night. Go back and watch the end of the VOD from last night. I lost four in a row. It was brutal. Yeah, I think we're going to do... Um, Kira, I like that idea, but I think we're going to do that kind of in front of it this side, and then this side's going to be a little more natural was what I was thinking, but I am going to have to put a key wall around here to hide the flashy flashy from that weird bottom texture where the guy didn't quite do the texturing right. So I was thinking I put the key wall with the little ledge around here, kind of like we did over here. Where is it? Kind of like this. Kind of what I had in mind, something along the lines of that. What we did with that Theater of Wonders. Welcome in. Yeah, I think that'll be cool. And I like these condos. It just needs, like, we need one more, like, taller condo right here. It kind of obscures this part of the monorail station. I was thinking maybe even another one of these right there. And then we need something right here. And then I just need to bob the stuff out of those and detail up that, and that would be good. I really like this elevated road we did yesterday. The more I look at it, the more I like it. That one little section just of elevated road adds a lot to this aquarium area that we built yesterday. I was really happy with this, actually. I really like this totally unnecessary overpass roads I really like that oh now we're seeing now we're getting the traffic I wanted okay now I think the thing I want to do is since I I'm allowing them both to turn into both lanes right yeah so that one can get into both lanes so I think what I want to do is make this guy only go to these two lanes Similarly, I have to this. And that way it'll fill up all the lanes of traffic, I'm hoping. And then this will no longer be a problem the way it used to be. Maybe I could even switch that into a smaller road with parking on it, which would help out a lot if I could get that down to three, two lanes instead of three, honestly. Which that was full up yesterday, and it's not that bad today, so. I'd be happy with that. This whole area was a nightmare of traffic yesterday, but it's getting better. I also noticed that one of the bus lines we put in yesterday had like 47 buses on it. Posh Hotel for the visiting team. Okay. I think I've got a residence inn that could go somewhere over here that's brick. Because I wanted to like have brick buildings on this side. Maybe I could put it in here with like a little courtyard underneath the monorail where the monorail came around the front of it. You have a little turnaround for the cars right there. It could probably be done. It's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah, it was outrageous. I put in a bus and didn't bother to check how many they put on it. And I like looked. I had like all these buses lining up over there. I was like, what are they? What are those? All of those? I was like, oh boy, here we go. And it was seriously, they were all empty. They were coming from the other side of the map. It was one of those bus lines that I put in just to have a bus line. Not really to actually, like, everybody's going to take the metro or monorail or something there. But I wanted to have a bus line there. So awful. What's up, Norm? Good to see you. Hope you're doing all right today. Enjoy a nice Saturday together. Okay, so 
the hill. All right, first thing we need to do is handle our bush addiction. Stopped right here for no reason now because we've extended this under. So let's get these where they need to be. A lot of people queuing up there like they can't get somewhere. Are they just waiting for... What you're all waiting for while you're queuing. Okay, you can obviously walk through there. Is this just going to be the new queue? Oh, it's because the tour bus just let out. Duh, okay. Uh, let's see, we need to do something about that. So let's see if I can get up under there and get rid of that concrete. That works. Let's get the bushes up underneath the road here. I was sitting here watching Slam and playing with this and enjoying myself. And I was like, oh, I should hit live soon. I said I'd be live around one o'clock, so here I am. Yeah, man, yesterday's FIFA stream. Oh, the evening of FIFA was brutal, especially the last game. Like, first of all, we lost one game 6-3, and I was just like, oh, so angry. That six just of the most brutal FIFA algorithm goals. And uh, poor Wrexham took a, took a little dive. I'm a little worried about Uchiha's job now. Our coach in our career mode. And uh, yeah, we need to, our first game tonight is going to be against Arsenal, which is going to be even worse. So yeah, it's shows the bleeding shows no signs of stopping. As our defense leaks goals like a sieve. And the last game we played, like, I thought I thought I had them and then I gave up a penalty and then they got another goal and won. Oh, so mad. So fun. Nice, Harry. Yeah, my the worst is that mine are all against like the bottom teams that I should be clubbing. I was like I was in ninth and were or eighth and working working up and had a big good stream yesterday and or, or the day before yesterday. Like won all but one game again. Won another cup game. Yesterday I lost in the first round of the Papa John, John's trophy to somebody. I don't even remember who it was. And then got clubbed several times by others. And it was just like, oh, Seabrooks had to stop me from continuing the bleeding because I was ready to go ahead and play the Arsenal game. I hate to end on a loss. I just hate to. And he's like, you've taken enough beating for tonight. And I was like, all right, all right. So today we got to play Arsenal in the round of 16 in the Carabao Cup, which, you know, surely they're going to play a decent team against us in the round of 16. Okay, so we'll do something like this, right? And then let's carry that up around. So I'm looking forward to playing FIFA today because that, the I Need Redemption yesterday. I mean, it was great to watch and I was mauling and it was fun. Uh, and like, you know, they were good games. They were all good games. I think I lost one two nothing the first one of the first one of the stream and then the rest of them were all just like nail biters the whole way through like back and forth just oh heartbreakers This is City Skylines. It's pretty good. It's an old game for 2015, but this is a heavily modded version of it. So definitely look into look at some other look around for videos because there are a lot of videos that show the more vanilla graphics. So depending on what kind of computer you have, really matters on whether you can get it to look like this. But this is the uh, 
This is the city of New Wagers Bay that I've been building for like eight months, about 40 hours a week. And it is a huge, huge city, very highly detailed in certain areas and under detailed in others. This is a pretty detailed little area over here, a little church and you know, all these tan placed bushes, every building sand placed, every, for the most part, tree put there to be there. We've got oil, we've got industries, we've got mines. got a national park with great views. Yeah, at some point you're going to get like, this is a game you don't care about frames in. You know, this is a game you care about what you're building. We do have a little traffic piling up here now. This one. They're all going to the harbor, see, because none of them are wanting to go that way, really. Question is, if I add a third lane there and make this lane turn or whatever, this lane in or this lane goes bypass the harbor and that lane goes there, will the people actually get out there? Or will it be unworth the work? I guess it couldn't really hurt to try. Let's see here. Um, my writing is on the brink again because of the thing I had to do yesterday to get the game to load, with, which is unselect one of the settings for the weird language glitch. Okay, I want a three load, three lane maybe with bus. And it'll look like they're pulling it. No, because I'm going to have a car going through it, so... Okay, so then we would go with the traffic manager here. You to the inside, you to there or there. And then you. Let's see if this does anything. For some reason, they all want to stop right there. It's super annoying. Probably because it's like the closest corner. No, it's not even like any closer to over here. See, so like, what's that guy doing? <laughs> Enjoy yourself, my friend. Okay, what if I did this instead? What if we do total trickery here? This, uh, make that a U-turn. Is it going to mess it up? It probably will. Let's see if we can solve this. It's not going to solve anything if they can go that way. I was wanting the despawners to come this way. You'll go away now. You're stuck. See, because this person's like getting out or something. And that's what the problem is. Yeah, see, they got out. They just disappeared. don't really know if there's anything I can do to stop that because they're just going to pause somewhere.
What I definitely could do is right here, I could change this junction restriction to go through. That might help. Let's see, as long as these people are just like doing that. All right, let's see if I can do anything here. Let's see if that does anything, moving that node. Let's try all the tricks today. Hey, Mecca, what's up? No, it's like, see, this is one of those things that's not about spawn points, right? Like spawn points work for like cargo trucks, but spawn points, they don't really work for Sims. <laughs> I guess like Sims are going to drive to the nearest corner and they're going to put their pocket cars in their pocket and they're going to walk. Because like you, you could see the uh, spawn point for this building is way over here. But like they still get out there and walk because they can get to the entrance of the building there, right? So it's the closest distance. Like the only way to really cure it would be to build a big parking lot and make this a pedestrian only road. But I want these parking lots down here. And I don't mind there being a bit of traffic. I just don't want it to be, you know, I would like both these lanes getting used, I guess is what I'm saying which may mean taking out this parking lot and turning this all into a two lane. One way. Yes, I have the advanced parking AI on, yeah. Which I usually don't do because it makes a lot of cars and, you know, like I have so few cars that I can put in the simulation without being over, you know, the limits. That's an easy way to break a game save. But I did put it on because I want the parking. And it'd be even worse without it. But see, it's this pausing right here that I don't understand. Like, what are they pausing for? See, it's this. Obviously, need more parking, but it's still weird. Yeah, I've done all that. It's they're stopping to think of good parking space. See, that's what it is. When they're you know driving out of the city anyway, so I don't understand. Like they're obviously coming to the harbor to leave the city, so I need some more parking. Or I need to turn the advanced parking AI off. See, it doesn't hurt me anywhere else. I don't have like big crowds of people driving around downtown looking for parking. They're all fine. It's just that harbor. It's just the harbor.
Because it's really just all a despawning thing. Oh, it's so annoying too. They would just use all the lanes, it wouldn't be so annoying. I guess they might if I had all those, if I didn't have that parking there. Whatever, it's not that bad. I'm obsessing over not that bad at this point. It's backed up to there, though. But I bet if I put the other road on there, it's going to... Hold on, we're going to try it, too. We'll, we'll try. I'm not opposed to trying. So if I did that, for instance, just to see, although it doesn't need to be that, it could just be a two lane. We'll just put it on two lane for now. Let's see. Let's see what they start doing there. Besides parking on the side of the road. Which I, They're starting to use the second lane more doing that, though. Although they're all going over right here because I don't have this set right. We'll ignore these parking spots right here for now. So obviously, this will get moved around if it does. Make it move faster. Let's go. Okay, but if this is the case, I can definitely take this down to two lanes here. Which will help with parking there. But messed up my beautiful road marking. So I'll have to fix that. The three one doesn't have parking, right? This may be the answer, actually. It seems to be flowing a lot better now. All right, so let's uh, hold down Shift, and if you hover over this point with the no controller renewal, you can tap that there. And we'll go over here and do the same thing there. I guess a straight road. Let's see what that does, and then let's get rid of these uh, parking spaces. All right, let's see what that does. And we can play with this. Is that a wider turn. They're just all going to stop there now, aren't they? Let's so sign that. I don't know if I can. Let's see if that's going to mess everything up. This road is all just for show now. I do love Primus, but that is not rated for this time of day. Yeah, it has a little better flow now, it seems. And it just added parking on both sides of that road. 
and on that road. I wonder if I have a one lane. Let's see. All right. Are they going to drive through the parked cars? Because if they are, I'm not going to. Some of these one lane roads with parking are just too thin. Like they drive through the parked cars. What is the building here at the water? You mean this one? This is the harbor, the uh, cruise ship harbor. That one? Or this one? We widen that, couldn't I, though? Let's see. I made that 130%, 133%. And this whole node we make 133%. And then the red end of this node we make 133%. And the blue end. And the blue end. And all of this one. Okay, and then we got some issue here now. Let's see. I'll just move it to fix that. Nightwolf, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Nightwolf. The Nightwolf. Floating car to nowhere. I'm sure where you're going, buddy. Okay. It definitely has better flow now. We're still getting a pause there somewhere where all these people are crossing the road, it looks like. Okay, well, I can fix that. Okay, and this stretch too. That needs to be fixed a little. Let's go. Oh, that's the blue hole to nowhere. There we go. I'll fix it. Okay, so I gotta fix these markings. Gotta fix those markings. Is this actually working? What are these cars doing? I'm going the wrong way, bros. There's another one. What are you doing? Are you all crazed now because I've moved the road so many times? Alright, my traffic jam's gone, right? Okay, so it definitely has flow now at least, so that works. into each other now, right? Could park that whole road, bro. Chose a weird parking spot. Okay, so let's see. This doesn't need a stop sign anymore. You'll get a yield. Vanilla game will give the other one some stuff, but let's let's see here. Okay, let's see if this works at all. Oh, it still works. Okay, 
cool. My signs, my lines still work there. Except for this one. Almost worked. Okay, so basically I just need to copy this filler here. So how did I do that? That was this road. Wait, I should just let them both turn both ways now. I should get rid of that filler. Let me get rid of that line. That one. And this one we need to. Oh, we're going to let them turn. Well, they're going to turn that way. Okay, so. I'm almost curious what would happen if I made this two ways. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. What did I do here? Hold on. Change the road. I didn't mean to. Okay, so... This could be two ways. It wouldn't be a bad thing. There's not much traffic on it now. this line would disappear. So would this one. turn lanes. Okay, right now it's all messed up. So you need to be these two. You need to be all three. You should be these two. You should be there. You're there or there. So get that now. Miss anything? I don't really want them to go straight across. That would be a nightmare. I think that'll work. Okay, and that changed this to a... Gonna have much better flow. I don't like this. I don't want people coming here and turning. Like, why? Unless you're going that way. So you're basically just like not going this way. Now, are you going that way? Let's see if it's, let's see if there's a legitimate reason. Traffic fixes. Hey, Nightwolf, thanks. Stopped in the other day. Didn't get to follow before you got busy. Oh, thanks for coming back and doing that. I appreciate that. Okay, they did all turn that way, right? Well, no, he didn't. Okay, so... <sighs> that makes me want to... Let's 
asterisk this as well. That got changed earlier and I didn't fix it. better. Quit messing with that now. That'll quit triggering me now. The harbor is one of the most traffic generators there is. Okay, this is still bothering me though. Like, I just don't like that. It's just... I have it there because it looks cute. Nothing, nothing to be functional. Obviously, that's not working. Let's just get rid of that. Go back to it being a non-used road. This needs intersection marking if we're going to do it this way. It needs uh, this. And then it would be from here to there. We would alt from here to there to there to there. Get. Uh, Lines would end there and be. Hey, what's up? Mr. Ruffio, what's up, man? What's going on? Good to see you. I know I've stopped in a couple times with raids a long time ago. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's your build going? I hope it's going well. Good to see you. Late night builder. Okay, and then I wanted the color of the yellow, right? Or no, I want the I want the filler yellow. That's what I wanted. Filler yellow. Okay, and then we're gonna go lines back here. This one will end there. No. In there and start there. And it will be solid as well. Whoops. Okay, that'll work enough. Make me think that there was something there at least. Okay. It's still kind of, I mean, it, it's not backed up, so it solved its purpose. We fixed that, okay. Fixed. Call it fixed and move on, sir. All right, that still looks good though. It's still got lots of people in it, lots of traffic. Night Owl, that's right. Yeah, this is our Pacific Northwest city. We've been building, I started in March of last year and I was building it like 40 hours a week over here on Twitch. And I took like a three month break starting in October. So just getting back into it and building. Um, trying to get the peninsula finished so we can call it all done. But it's pretty cool. It's good times. Let's see what can I show you. We, got, we did all this stuff, you know, almost a year ago now, but all these, and now I've got this silly thing again from where I reset all the nodes. I got to fix all this. I got so much fixing to do. You know, you know, if you play modded, this game is full of fixing. And I hit the fix all nodes button one day trying to fix the blue gaps in my roads and spawn pillars everywhere. I didn't want them. So that's one of them. But we had this cool little washed out rail infrastructure setting that we made back here by our lumber zone. We got a nice movable bridge going. get a little boat here and you get a sip of water oh yeah we got a boat coming let me get let me get a sip of water here welcome in guys thanks for being here appreciate it i don't usually stream on the weekends but uh you know i got nothing to do today so i'm relaxing
Yeah, this is a Pacific Northwest build that's uh, based on my time in uh, in Oregon and Washington. I was born in in Oregon, raised in Seattle um, until I was about 12, then we moved out east. And then in my 20s, I went back, went to culinary school in Portland, and then worked up and down the I-5 corridor for a brew pub company and some other things uh, for a few years before coming back out to help take care of family again on the East Coast. And, uh, you know, so this is kind of my getaway during COVID to uh, to build what I had been missing, visiting. Here we go, let's go. Uh, I, you know, the Seattle, and I'm, I'm assuming you want to say state, in a rough state, as in is it a bad place right now. Um, Seattle's a great, great city, and so is Portland. Uh, they're both great. They both have, you know, have historically had heroin problems because of the rain and, you know, those kind of things. But the big problem is the price of housing, I think anybody would say. Um... And, you know, I think that it's more of those areas of the country are kind of on the forefront or what I kind of see coming in America, which is going to be, you know, a big housing crash because uh, just rents are too high everywhere. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, like you can't compared to what you make, you you know, and, you know, it's like if you aren't over $150,000 a year, you can't pay for anything anymore. So, you know, Vancouver is the same way. Right. So I think that those areas that typically have been thought of um as you know great places to live like that are taking the brunt of the homeless crisis right because it's like i mean i would say that seattle's homeless to me wasn't as bad as la when i was there because la it's sunny and they were literally camped all along the beach and i can tell you washington they wouldn't allow that they'd clear you off the beach the park service would um so I don't know, but it's, it, you know, because really homelessness is going to strike really hard in the places just like it always has, like San Diego and L.A., where you can live on, you know, live outside all year round if you had to live in your car without heat, live it, you know, like that's what's going to happen. So, um, you know, it's something to look out for, but rents definitely have to be adjusted and, uh, you know, housing prices have to come down. I mean, um, you know, I know that the, the house that I rented five years ago before the pandemic. Now, granted, I've been in there for five years, so the guy probably did five years worth of back rent raising. Um, but I was renting it for like, I was renting the, ha you know, a nice one bedroom apartment on a park with nice picture windows for like 700 and something a month in Charlotte. And since I've left, I think it's up to 13 for the same place. And I just don't understand why. Like, you can't tell me, you can't explain to me why um, it's worth more than it was when people don't make as much as they used to. Okay, so we determined yesterday that all these were like square and annoying, right? Was there a three by three one? Was there a three by three? Okay, there was, but there were these weird doesn't fit at all like the other ones. What are you doing? Those are like... Oh, such good models. Destroyed by... Artistic creativity. <laughs> Those don't fit. Okay, so it's going to have to be... What are we going to do? We're either going to do another one of these things and try to make it fit. Yeah, I've been building this city for a long time. Uh, oh, that actually, those windows don't line up bad on the second set, so I might be able to make that work, actually. Um, I've been building this city for a long time, and I've been building it without PO. I don't know, you know... Everybody has their own mods that they lean on. PO is not one of my mods, so 
for what that's worth. Let's see here. If I did that, could I... Maybe. Maybe I can live with that. Line those up. I can maybe do that. And then what would we do here? It's going to be too close. Plus, I don't have a road yet for that. If I do that, I have to figure out how those are connected, I think. Or are they not... Con Wait, are they not complaining? They are not complaining. That's very interesting. Why do those buildings not complain when they're more than two from the road? Which way is the road connection? Yeah, the road connection is to there. No, the road connection is to there. What is that? Interesting. So you're telling me I don't have to adjust you. I just need to get you. I want you. That's there. and stuff out because I just can't stand them. Oh, cool. Usually working. Hey, what's up, Gooch? Good to see you as well. Hope you're doing well. Life is treating you fantastically. Let's see here. To terrain height. To terrain height. go around and adjust them all individually. That'll be the easier way to do it. Okay. So you need your parking spaces gone. Parking space gone. Ah, not what I want to do there. Parking space gone. Parking space two gone. There, right? That's another line there for a minute, but it's the planter. Okay. That's fine. Then we can. Get to the chopper! Alright, give me one second. Let me get this done here. Stop halfway through something, somebody once told me. Uh, okay, that. Take out the concrete. And leave the concrete there where it meets the other monorail station. Right, that'll be fine. There it needs to be gone. it. Alright, we'll come back and we'll detail those and those. Alright, chopper ride. Let's see, where are we going to take a chopper ride? Right, let's get a chopper. Who were two? Okay. Gooch got the chopper ride. Okay, thank you, Gooch. Thank you for the uh, first time chat there. Esfine. Oh, no worries, Gooch. We'll see it. Chopper ride's a good way. The city has grown a lot since you were... I mean, we were still building little stuff out in the country when you were hanging around and buying the Black Angus stink houses.
You go see where this guy's patrolling. All the other ones seem to be going the wrong way. Let's go see where this police copter is going to patrol. Hopefully it's not like right here. Thank you, man. That's uh, those are kind words. That uh, you know, GTA, the Rockstar franchise, does a great job of creating uh, open world environments, and that's really what anyone's shooting for. Of course, it's right here that we're going. Should have known that was going to happen. It's got to be somebody better to fly on. Let's see, you're flying the wrong way. And again, a helicopter going the right way. I think what we actually want is a plane, maybe. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find one of those little aviation club planes floating around. It's headed into downtown instead of out of. There's one. Come on. The university we built downtown. Chubb Life Stadium. That's a huge, huge city. That's not even got downtown in it. There we go. Excuse the framiness. The more we try to get in the picture. favorite areas here is the Central Park that we deleted all the uh, buildings out of, all the sub buildings out of, and just kept the two we wanted. Ignore the blue gaps in the road. That's the one road that if I correct it the way that I can do it easily, uh, I gotta switch that road out tonight. That's one of the offline things I'm gonna do. This road, not, it, because it spawned pillars everywhere when I clicked the fix for it, that road's just coming out. Cluss's road is coming out finally. I I played with it every day and reset those nodes for the last two months or whatever every day and yeah now that I know that it's coming out we got the what's that the modern art building there these are a bunch of the uh, high density commercial DLC modern city center right there there are those Got a couple of the Hilton assets from the workshop in there. There's a big Hilton asset. We buried a pool and a yoga garden in there. A little park down the middle with some water. Got a lot of custom signage on our uh, on our custom stadium. The, sea, the Sonics are back in town, rather. Of course, it's supposed to be a Pacific Northwest city. You got to have the observation tower. A lot of these buildings are actually from Seattle. These two are, I think, both. And we've got buildings from everybody in there. Reaper, King Leno, vanilla buildings, custom buildings. We spent a lot of time like detailing like this little block here downtown around the courthouse. We've got our cable car line that runs all the way up through the Pyroblaze Center and up the hill. Tim Horton's Pyroblaze Center up the hill onto the mountain. Where is he going to fly to now? 
Got some really, a really cool construction site over here that I love. Another one of the blue roads. Other, other cluster tram, light, ra light railroad, light, light trail. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. It's, uh, you know, I, it's, I tried, you know, I was trying to do both, you know, because I love Portland and I love Seattle and I didn't want to, you know, it's loosely based on both, you know, we're called, it's New Wagers Bay named after a buddy of mine who died several years ago, a good chef, a friend of mine. Um, but you know, we started out way over here in this little town and I considered it more of, you know, one side, there's, you know, one side of Portland that it kind of reminded me of very low density university town, but just a very small downtown, a little bit of medium density. Uh, we started there. We worked our way all the way around the back of the map till we got to the beginning. And then we, uh, till we got till finished up, we came all the way around the back of the map here. We got to Adams crossing. Which I think is where uh, Gooch was hanging around. He, I know he bought a restaurant over here, so I know he probably hasn't seen anything out here in Pine Beach, which was our little beach community that we built out here. Which is fabulous. It has our little burning house thing that we made with the little water jets and the vanilla fire and smoke props at night. This is fabulous. Made little restaurants, little patio gardens. This is where we got into, we made um, Frankie Bond's first surf shop over here. Where was it? And Cruff made those surfboards to go for it. And made that custom rotating sign out front for us. And then that, you know, that continued throughout the build. Made several of those. I absolutely love this beach area. And like all this little area that we made without procedural objects down here. Building into the hill even though we shouldn't. boat ramp little we made a little marine over here see why are all my fairies three and three and three like what is going on here did somebody do something to the vehicle spawning like they're supposed to space themselves out i thought like i don't understand what's going on i, I think that's busted Yeah, I love this. I, this whole area here is cool. You know, another little healthy weeds, another little lone bear gas station. Little McDonald's, just the empty lot here on the corner, right? This church over here was a lot of fun. We did this one day. Let's see, let's turn the lights back on. This church was a lot of fun one day right there. This little scene, I, I you know, I showed you the firehouse with the little scene that we made for it with like the neighbors getting interviewed. Oh, that's awesome. It spread across. <laughs> that's amazing. That's actually beautiful. The fire has spread. Let's screenshot that. Yeah, this fire station we did back here, this is a, um, this is actually like a, I think it's part of a radio station, like <sighs> radio station asset that got put on the workshop that had like a big antenna and I just added a fire watch tower instead of the antenna to it and put a bunch of parking stuff and turned it into my own little fire station for here. I love it. I think it's cool. Oh, on the wrong screen all of a sudden. Yeah, 
Yeah, I love that. And like these, just little things like these dumpsters out here. Little slightly different dumpsters that makes a big difference. You know, just that little dumpster action. action. Or, you know, putting in the putting in parking bumpers everywhere like I like to do, like all these yellow parking bumpers. We spend all the time like putting all these tables and shrinking all these little flowers and planters down in here. This was a lot of fun. Making all, I remember shrinking all these planters, how impossible it was because some plants shrink it different. Doing this pool back here with the wall around it. Yeah, I, I guess something happened, I think, when I flooded downtown the other day, Harry, uh, when we were making the ferry stuff, and I kind of flooded downtown a little bit, and all the vehicles respawned, and I think it's been messed up since then. Because they all respawned out again. I like this whole area. Like, I love the fact that, like, this whole little area of town, like, oh, I remember this. This is a construction site. This is a lot of fun. little scene build that we did here with the little construction site and all the little worker trucks and everything down in there and how I had to work all these planters in to hide the big hill that was there the difference fake stairs but that like the view shed all the way down the beach isn't blocked anywhere here it's like come around this corner it's like boom ocean Go over this street Boom. Ocean. Boom. Surf shop. Ocean. Plaza. I love this. This is... Pine Beach is like my favorite beach town I've ever built for sure. I love this. Hey, what's up, Q-Wood? This little uh, thing that I had to shrink all these fences around when I came back and redid it because I tried to build the different transport thing and I didn't like it, so I had to build a new one. And this is like three different fences shrunk inside of each other, brick fence and uh, industrial vanilla fence all the way around. And then like all these little prop bushes and shrubs and trees and all the way around that I did on that one. I, I really, but I love this area and the little uh, spending the time getting this guy to drive right. It's a lot of fun. We built the little guard shacks on both sides and shrunk the fences and stuff down for those. Did a little intersection marking tool between them. That was fun too. I don't know. I liked it out there. I like the rural communities. The downtown is so sprawling. It's huge. I liked it. And then Metatizers. This is Metatizers guest build that we entered for anybody that doesn't know. It's absolutely gorgeous. He built this beautiful build and we imported it with Move It. All these cool parkings underneath and the key wall used there. And he built these gray ones as well. And then I built into it next to it. That's where we kind of started back the series. I was building this area over here last monorail station detailing all this area here on the water making this big commercial area and another scrap yard back there for our buddy Yens. hey what's up and then we add this little area here too Oh, Q-Boy, I don't know if you are here yesterday, but I'm so disheartened with the fact that 
I have been using that network detective to fix these every time and it, you know, respawns every node and I noticed that like it dropped all the pillars below my bridges again. I'm gonna have to go back and fix them all. It was like the moment where my stomach dropped yesterday before I lost all four matches in uh, FIFA last night. And we finished up the airport finally, finished up all the little shopping up underneath the areas. We put in a pool here by the airport, a little deck. And this is all the little intersection marking tool work there as well. More little up underneath shops. So we kind of finished detailing up that. We made a little uh, repeating pattern with some planners there and did these. Finish up that end. Let's see, what else have we done? I love this whole area over here. If Gooch is still around, he was wanting to see around the city. Since he hadn't been here in a long while, I love this little view here, this little block here. Oh, and then, you know, the downtown, what I was saying, we had like, we have like the Chubb Life Stadium. Oh, so there's our perfect timing. We got the Chubb Life blimp and the Chubb Life sign. Lovely Cruft made us in the Cuboid Towers over here. Another little church buried in amongst the high rises. I think that's very important, honestly. Another little junkyard back here. That's my only traffic back up now, but yeah, here's downtown. I said we spent a long time, like we spent a day doing this area over here. First of Mr. Harry's tattoo shops. Which I still owe him a couple of from when we were doing property buying. to this area here. All these little areas here were great. It's all these blocks on the corner. All these weird corners and fun murals and anyway. Yeah, you do. You do have to have. You have to have a lot of patience for this game, uh, especially like putting it away. Like me putting it away for three months, and then coming back to it, and like all the mods having to be changed, pretty much. And like, if I wouldn't have had the help of Chameleon and Cuboid, I definitely would have probably give up on the city because it was tough. It was tough. It can be uh, overwhelming when the new DLC comes out and screws everything up. Like, even yesterday, you know, like yesterday I tried to get in five times in the morning. Couldn't get in. Every time I would get in, it would load the city in and then crash. And I messaged Chameleon and, I, you know, he's deadly sick. And I was like, I hate to bother you or whatever, but, you know, do you see anything in this? And for some reason, even though I've had this setting for, since I started playing the game, probably, I have my precision engineering mod set with large font. And I had my the uh, FPS booster had the thing to help the font because if you look right now, I have the you know the Sanskrit, or it's not right now, but it will be in a minute. It'll change at some point here back to Sanskrit. So I had the thing clicked, and he was like, "Oh, that's it." And I was like, "Okay, well, why now?" You know, like it, sometimes it makes absolutely no sense what the problem is. So anyway, I haven't really built anything today. Let's ever mess with traffic. Okay, but that's looking better and that's definitely flowing better. We don't have any backups down this road. 
We definitely don't have any backups down that road. That's actually dispersing the traffic. So it was basically that parking lot road just wasn't doing it. Now these people all look stuck to me though. You're using public transport. What kind of public transport are you using? Because there isn't any coming. are free to cross, right? I mean, they ca okay, so they're crossing there now. Our car is actually moving through this. Yes. So the node's not broken. I guess I should bring a bus line in here, but it's got to come out this way then. Oh, okay. Or get something else down there that they can ride. Yeah, maybe they're all waiting on taxis, but that's a lot of taxis. Let's see if this guy's dropping off or picking up. I like this though. I added this a little underway. Okay, let's work over here. Okay, those are fine. I don't like those picnic tables. This guy had something on it that there was they were underneath park benches. No, it was um, yeah, those ones. We're out in the middle of nowhere. They'll have people walking in weird spaces in the buildings. Okay, back here we should be fine. I just need to do some bushes and stuff on that side. I think. And that ugly. Hmm. That might need to be bushes too, so that I can cover it easiest. Decisions. Come on. Yeah. You'd be surprised. I played, you know, I played super vanilla for a good while. Like, it just happens one night. Like, you start with TMP, probably, or, like, something to make it snow. Maybe if you wanted to play, like, a different map in Snowfall, you might, you know, start with one mod. You know, or it might be Move It, or it might be Precision Engineering, apparently. Okay, that, I don't like that. Should come back to that door. That's fine. Of course, this is going to be a pain. So, I might just put some kind of ploppable planner right there. That would work. And then put a brush, the 1x4 brush.
we'll just put that down there. We'll get a two by two planter. Okay, how about just a planter? Cause the one I wanted actually wasn't one of those for a change. It was, where is it? over here. It's way too long if I remember that is too. That's short but tall. do for those. You do some bushes in there. This needs some kind of help and I'm not exactly sure. Well, actually it's not that bad. It's kind of bumpy concrete but that happens a lot of places so. All right let's start here. Let's go with bush. Or actually let's just try to not use some bushes. How about let's, um, let's use a tr the tree instead. Let's use and it with a few yeah uh, yeah one perk of a laptop that's true although these days there's some pretty amazing laptops with some amazing storage that are coming out I will say that um, all right we're gonna start with the tree there we're gonna replace the concrete up to it because the trash can should have concrete to it at least. No, 
that's too much. So is that. Put some of these. Oh, my strength is up, so I'm definitely dropping doubles there. I can feel it. That's a double for sure, or triple even, maybe. Just a double. Go. What's up, man? Thank you. Not on Twitch for weeks, so I can't. <laughs> I think you did. It says you're on a been subscribed for nine months. I think you I think it's just one of those things where it was you, it just came into chat and said, uh, when you came into chat, it said, like, talk about your streak or something. I don't know. Or one of those, probably. I don't know. I've had that happen before, too. Don't worry about it, Franco. Dude, I appreciate you keeping it, you know. Those of you guys who subscribed while I was gone, dude, I really appreciate that. You know, like, uh, you know. Those of you that stayed on my Patreon the whole time or whatever, like a lot of you guys like gave me a lot of support that, you know, I, I wasn't deserving for not being around. So I do really appreciate that. All right, and then maybe. something around here that was the same boom boom so we gotta get those to the ground I appreciate it I appreciate it Hey Gooch, you know, like honestly, I'll tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, if I was a little bigger streamer, I would tell you not even to subscribe because really the best way you could help streamers is Turbo. If you don't have, like, I finally broke down and bought Turbo, like, because you know you don't see the ads, they still get money for the ads. If they're a big streamer, chances are they get better off of that than they do off a of sub anyway you know like obviously you know maybe not for me because my ads are you know teeny a bit a month or whatever you know so i'm not getting bounty ads and that kind of thing but honestly like oh just look on go to your subscription page on twitch and look and there's a thing for twitch turbo i think it's 9.95 a month and you get no ads ever but they but you get credit for watching ads. Hey, Darty, what's up? Like, even though you don't get the ads, it gives me, it would give me credit as if you were watching the ads. So like, you know, for XQC or somebody, he, he would definitely make more off those ads a month than he would 250. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's like the different page of your subscriptions thing or whatever. And it's, you know, they don't ever talk about it. And like, it's kind of the thing that a lot of people don't talk about. But honestly, with the way things are going, you know, like that's honestly. Yeah. 
I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Turbo Gang, as some people call them. Okay, I know I took those hedges off too. I just know I did. there because that is monstrous what is going on wait what is going on with that building why is it so tall why is that one up so high what is going on there Not glorious enough for that space. Norm, you have a good one. We'll see you maybe when you wake up. You might be playing some FIFA later. Come by and check it out. Okay, I definitely took that bird bath off. I can tell you that right now. Alright, let's uh, continue to do some trees here. off to there's more concrete I missed Then I can put like a bush or something there and block them off, right? Mm, I don't remember what the last song was now, honestly. <laughs> it's a little attention I was paid to it. Was it the Moby song? Is that what you're talking about? I gotta tell you, my game feels kind of funky right now.
don't think those are like gonna cut it okay how about uh, a little juniper or something where's the juniper it's probably behind this thing so I might as well just search it Very sluggish input wise. Something like that for privacy. Thank you very much for the shout out for Rufio. Thank you. I probably forgot to do that earlier because I'm such a bad person. But he's still here to enjoy it. Is that the new, how do you do that other shout out thing? Um, see Brooks, do we know how to do that? I know Cuboid does, we need to figure it out I think, but the new kind where it like tags them in chat so that like they can go follow without leaving or whatever, instead of just uh, the hyperlink or whatever, it like makes a post for so long and I noticed because I know Slim does it that way. Like Slim does that shout out. And when I'm offline, like I'll, I'll open up my OBS and it'll be like, oh, Slim shouted me out to like 50 viewers or whatever, even if I'm not there, which is kind of cool because if you're a, uh... okay, so like a lot of times when you raid into somebody, right, you're going to leave right afterwards because you got stuff to do. Otherwise you might be streaming yourself, right? So that other shout out feature, like, if you raid and run, you come back, you see, oh, not only did he mention me then, oh, he mentioned me again at the end of stream or whatever. You see, like, the two um, the two things or whatever. And I think that that's kind of cool because it's like, I don't know. I, I, it's I, it's like one of the cool, th one of the changes they make that made that I'm actually not, like, thinking is just stupid. So, you know, credit where credit was due. I thought that was a good one. <laughs> all the things that I give Twitch a hard time about. All of which they deserve, by the way. I will say YouTube has made, has made a huge mistake lately, too, I think. So I'm, I'm interested to see how that turns out because I think there might be a lot of people headed back to Twitch very quickly. So um, there was that new change for YouTube about the violent content standards or whatever. And, like, overnight they demonetized you know, hundreds of thousands of videos because, like, if it has any blood or gore in, like, the first 30 seconds, like, uh, I saw a bunch of graphic novel um, guys complaining about it, saying that all their graphic novels have been demonetized and why would they ever post their graphic novels here ever again? And, um, you know, like, Call of Duty players, you know, if it's a violent kill and it shows, like, you know, or, like, DayZ or something, um, you know, uh, zombie killing, dismemberment, instant demonetization. Curse words in the first year, first hour. I mean, I actually like YouTube better, but I feel like more, I don't know. 
it's more of a television station. I'm more of a, it's more, I'm being a radio station right now. So I'm here. Um, <laughs> I don't know. They both have their ups and downs. Um, overall, I think YouTube honestly has the most potential, but that change is going to force a lot of creators back here, which will give Twitch a lot of power, which will then mean that maybe they change something that makes me change my mind, I guess. Shadow ban from your music. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. That'll do it. All right. So this guy, let's put two of these down. We'll blow them up. Okay, and then let's get some skids for all the buses that have been going through there. Put one over here. Just the decals. Grab the two small ones, blow them up. And they should be about the same over here when it comes time, okay? The, the circle part of this decal not where I wanted it okay over here I think I want like one little strip of parking uh, parking yeah I think that that the violence thing is going to do a lot to gaming but at the same time it's also going to put I was thinking about it, it's also going to put a bigger focus on non-violent games on YouTube gaming, which means something like Cities, which has no chance of getting unmonetized, you know, could benefit from that, right? I mean, I don't know. Overthinking it times 1,000. Oh, it's monorail. Monorail Yogi, welcome in. That's what Pacific Northwest would have, would be the monorail. Yeah, we'll do one little thing of parking here. Which means I need parking bumpers. one of these that's broken as a prop that's not, without POing it. That's what I need since I don't like POing. Alright. I think I want to do a that I still think we need something with some color in the center here so let's just cheat a little let's the trees uh, 
Terrainite. I should have just hit follow terrain. Nope. Not what I wanted to do. Nope. Spruces, big ones, and okay, junipers rather. There we go. Uh, and maybe something here. I don't really like this. So, how about a one by one structure there? Or, or parking, maybe. Let's look. One by. extra so there's another one that I see stuff that should be bobbed out of it and it's not I've used lots of places so you should be there needs to move over. Okay, and then that needs to be bobbed. That, uh, where is it? That goes. That goes. Okay, and then I want like a little tire decal. Like I said, the one place I don't like is this. So you're gone. Let's try a one by two one.
That's better. Okay, definitely need more parking. Although it's actually going very smoothly since we changed that road. I'm very surprised by that. That was really the difference, huh? All right, let's see here. Oh, what they allow kids to watch is insane, yeah. I hear you, Mr. Harry. But if you'd have done all that work instead of in PO and Blender, we would all be enjoying that New York Metro, right? <laughs> okay. Uh Okay, we're going to work around the baseball stadium next, I think. How long have we been going? Two hours, okay. That's not bad. I need to decide where that hotel is going to go, probably, though. Let's see. Residence. Uh, what is it? It's uh, unused. stuff in here now <sighs> finding gets harder every time you add okay where is it is it Rico is that what the problem is If I did that in this block, that might be too tall. It might need to be this block here. That's not the right corner, though. Could go there. Put some stuff around it. We have a road that comes through there, fake road. As a matter of fact, don't I still have. How big is that thing? Uh, that's probably not. Oh no, I have a 1x4 one, one, don't I? Um, alley? I think I have a little park building. No? Yeah, here we go. How long is the long one? It would park in front of the exit. That doesn't work for me. Okay, so... This is like a little piece of concrete that they park on both sides of, is all this little building is. It's actually pretty cool. So we're going to do one there and there. And then... Let's see what's going to be the easiest way to do the rest. That's too big. So I would want a four by four brush. Brush. Bigger than that, eight by eight. 
Can we do a one by four one? All right, and then we put something else on that corner. Do some stuff around that hotel. Later day. All right, so let's waste some nodes here. Try to get rid of this flashy flash. Okay, so I think what I actually want is... Do I want it to be walkable, though? Do I want it to be walkable? Do I want it to be walkable? Don't really care, I guess. Um, so retaining wall. With grass on this side. get it right along with that actually we should put the one with the fence there because they wouldn't want people to get in for free be able to Ooh, that's ugly. That's ugly. Is that a offset issue? Can you change the offset? No. Okay, fix it. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Sometimes you don't get picky. again. Oh, is it going to have to go all the way out to that turn angle again? Because that's going to be annoying. Okay, there. Let's see if we can make this work now somehow. Maybe. 
The problem is, is that made this go weird. So I need to shift this in too, right? on those windows when I get the surface in there. If that's how I can do it. It's going to be tough actually because, well, no, it won't come pop out. It's got a little room. It'll pop out right there, but I will just have to be uh... this will be interesting. Let's put it that way. See that that doesn't look right. So about there. And then I'm gonna have to have another curve here. So God knows what that's gonna do to it. They're not walkable. Waste more notes. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see, I'm still grabbing something else there. us to there when we get it and here as well okay and then I need to node control that I got lucky there won't hear though I bet So how will that work? Can I get rid of it? 
Oh, it just kind of overlaps each other, doesn't it? Okay, and then it would be, turn off the segments of the buildings. Lego set, all right. All right, all right. Here, maybe. <sighs> okay, and then... actually yes yes <laughs> gooch is on the workshop all right all right surface okay so surface those are called surfaces if I remember correctly the thing I need for this let's see That's asphalt, that's ground. I need concrete. Griffey mural that Cruft made us. comes away at the same time now. Okay, perfect. Okay, so don't need anything there. Here it needs to be wider. 
question is, can I get away with one or is it going to take multiple? And I think here it's going to have to be, all right, let's see, um, what could I do that might work this the easiest way? Could I do it with network multi-tool? Let's see here. Change the height or okay. Brace or brace for height. Enter. Okay, now let's check the nodes to see what we can do. That's a good node. This node. This be a bend. This one will stretch the red. We should be able to move that over a little bit. Last little bit there, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, that worked pretty well actually. So we'll just do that same thing here. Okay, now I need to look at this here. Change the oh, that's probably because of all the weird offsets and stuff I did. Whatever. Um, I should just hit enter, and we'll move it. Just make it the same height as nope, the other. Yep, that one. Okay, and then this one needs to be the same height as that one. This one needs to be the same height as that one. All right, where's our node here? Didn't we have one? That's for the little piece, isn't it? No, little piece ended there, so this is for it. No? Oh, it's probably too low to see. There we go. All okay, and we're actually the right height under the windows. That's right where I wanted to be. Okay, great. And we just need to fix that one. still have to fix like with this with curves where it's showing in the front but that's a big part of it that actually made it start looking better there right um look on my uh 
mods list, Gooch, you want the ones that are the newest ones. Um, that's it, right? Or is it mods list? I can't remember. Uh, hello? Is it just mods? Did I never change it? Uh, hello? Are none of my commands working? Or did I turn them off or something? Uh, what about this one? Is this one working? Anyway, you want the, the one by Kiwi Star, Kiwi Star, Q, Kiwi Star. I, I say it wrong, but I say it like it's spelled, I guess. Okay, none of my commands are working. What's going on here? Should have known that when my shout out didn't seem to work either earlier. Um, okay, let me check on here. Check my chat bot here. I have it turned off. That's what it is, okay? There we go. I'm 99% sure that I updated that the day before I came back, so it should be proper with the two that I used, the Tree Anarchy and the, the ones you can scale with, like Kiwi Star. In most cases, it's best to stay with mods that are newer and definitely have the little symbol that they have updated to the financial districts. Because there was a lot of changes in that one in the base game. And a lot of stuff that doesn't have that doesn't work anymore is what was explained to me. Which is why like so much stuff is out of date and being redone. You know, and why a lot of things that you think should be being done aren't being being done is because people have had to take over other people's stuff to get stuff done, you know? So, mods, it's always about patience and support. So, you want to make sure you get the newer versions that are being supported for sure. And especially with, like, anything by Bloody Penguin, who Bloody Penguin was the mod god of his time, but he has long since retired with the exception of the barges mod, which has some bugs and problems, I've been told. Um, although I still use it, obviously, but 
it's probably not the greatest thing ever. Fur coat, that's cruel. People on VOD are wonder, we're gonna wonder what that's about. Chances are today will be a sped up VOD anyway. When it finally gets to YouTube, which I think I'm about three days VOD behind, I find that my the YouTube stuff, like, please go over there and give the YouTube videos a like, it would really help. Like, for some reason, it takes, like, Sometimes it takes a day to get 69 watches on one video, and sometimes it takes, you know, two weeks. And so it really deters me from putting them up day to day. Um, because, you know, the view count being so low is a detriment, you know. Go to sleep, spam a video for me on YouTube. That'd be a help. You have multiple screens, minimize one on your other screen. Getting to a thousand, honestly, the biggest support that I could have would be getting to a thousand followers on YouTube. You know, just to get my old videos monetized so that if someone t five years from now tends to like this project or whatever like that, um, that would mean more to the health and growth of this channel than anything here on Twitch. You know, like I love, I love it, but it's live streaming. Like Twitch only helps you when you're live. Like this series could live forever on YouTube if we could get to that thousand followers, right? So. Yeah, especially with what they're trying to do right now, Harry, with the, uh, the what we were talking about earlier with the violent content, like the algorithm's been tweaked. And I will tell you that when I was streaming over there too, like there is a big difference in like, if you are actually streaming on YouTube, like you get a lot more click throughs. Um, But, you know, everybody told me that they kind of liked it over here better, for the most part, for the chat experience. So, for now, it's kind of what I've been doing. Who knows? We may do, like, one a week on YouTube, you know. Do, like, a special build video. like that and just like jungle up this area we're probably gonna put like one little store in here though or something a little souvenir stand or something piece of eco commercial in there but i overuse it so much but it's so much better than the other commercial um souvenir shop would work though so let's look at a two by two i don't think that was weird i felt like all my traffic just disappeared um two by two commercial
Okay, so it's not in there. Is it still in leisure tourism? No. Where was it? Um, it's in there. Okay, how about where is that sucker? Thing is, I don't remember some of these sizes of these buildings anymore. Of what I'm looking for, um, you're in here, aren't you? You're too big. thinking that with like the rooftop bar on it would work. I don't even know that 2x2 two two is going to work. So how about we go with just... facing the wrong way yeah, so that's not gonna work uh, how about souvenir shop sense of the fence. Guess we'll do a tree behind it then. Okay, and then we'll use the little magnolias or something. A little Japanese, where is it? It's in here. Small tree. No, like that. Nope. 
could go with that, could go with the ferns. It's totally, it's totally encouraging the YouTube live streams, totally. Sorry if I'm behind on the chat. I was trying to not end up five hours in with nothing done like yesterday. That's where we were headed early. Ended up with the 12 hour stream before the FIFA came on. 8 rather, but it felt it was 12 p.m. rather. 12 a.m. Duh. Although I was up surprisingly early today. Raring to go, probably because of those four losses. This game, take your heart away. Finally done with the workshop. You don't think you ever did it? How many did you get? We'll be the judge of that. I doubt you ever did it in our eyes. We're the, we're the asset addicts over here. We're the proudly over. I did hear, however, that you can have some problems if you get over 10,000. I was told that by Chameleon, so that actually made me believe that maybe that was a thing. So he was like, how many do you have? I was like, 13. He's like, you should be able to do it. He's like, how much your page file is being used? I was like, ah, not much. He's like, okay, you're fine. <laughs>
Okay. Then it needs... Block. Do need something right here, though. And we wouldn't want to block that turn. Woo! You know what? The best thing you can stay away from, I'm going to tell you this right now, Mr. Harry, and Gooch and everybody else. Best thing you can stay away from, I think, for performance is tons of freeze, which I've done, obviously. It's the biggest one that everybody knows. The other one is custom roads and vehicles. Get the lowest try custom vehicles if you have to have custom vehicles. I've got way too many vehicles with high tries, and I think that that's why it is super, super laggy sometimes. That is free unsolicited advice from an asset addict. Roads, some of the roads, although beautiful and like custom rail is also beautiful, but is very high and you're gonna use a lot of it. Think about, okay, so th that's the thing. It's like, think about a building, okay? You're gonna use a building once, twice, it may have tons of tries. Okay. It may show up from everywhere or a bridge or something like that, right? Like it can be high try. You're going to use it once. But if you have a vehicle that's like a fourth of that and you've got potentially 10,000 of them running around. Yeah, you get it. Or at least you should. Should not say any more than that. Okay, where's Tiny? Tiny. Oh, I can't find anything this way. Tiny.
Aha! Biggest thing in, is the big suburbs growables. Okay, they are. Those are, yeah, that would be a good one too. I've used a lot of those and those neighborhoods are laggy because those are high in tries and they do repeat a lot. Yeah, absolutely. I could see that. What's up, Arian Rod? How you doing, bud? Great to see you. All right, how about a bench here as if you can sit while you're waiting for the bus or whatever that we haven't put in yet. that then we can go ahead and put another couple bushes behind them and then let's put a little bit of that's so big I can use this one and shrink it can't I yeah Cows. Okay. We're starting to get there. Obviously, we're going to need tables. All right, let me catch up on the chat here. Gooch is going to get some food for working on the working on the road. All right. Oh, leftovers, lamb chops, potatoes. That sounds delicious, actually. <laughs> Sheep came on. Ninety percent of your vehicles are made by you. They're all two K. I would rather have five high quality stuff. Yeah, I hear you. Most of my vehicles are. <laughs> my Z4 game though, it's this uh... <laughs> Yeah, Arian Rod, I've been streaming again uh, for about a week. I've been back, uh, just kind of easing my way back into it. We've built some stuff. A couple of them are up on YouTube, a couple of them aren't. I'm not leaving the VODs up as long on Twitch. I'm going to put them on YouTube because I still want to push the YouTube channel. But we've been building this little area in particular, this little Ferry Harbor Harbor over the last couple days. There's something missing from this. What is it? Is it just simply that? Why is that? Both like oh, because I did it on the one. What? What? There we go. Hey, I was like, what is that? What is going on there? I don't know, since this isn't so busy, it probably doesn't need this stops this uh, stoplight anymore, does it? Then we go vanilla game, get rid of it all together. Stop sign up there. Okay, did I see a street sign through? Okay, it's gone now. Okay, there was like a speed. That speed limit sign was up at the bridge the first time I built it. So I was going to fix that. So that looks fine. Maybe we take an opportunity for another one of those benches over here. Yeah, we came back last week and started streaming again. Um, 
you know, it was just time. Honestly, it was time long before, but I've been being lazy. I don't know what's on this as well, okay? Uh, but, you know, I just had kind of a crazy fall. to terrain height. Bench there. Do some little businesses or something around there, I guess. Or parking. It's going to need parking. Oh my god. It's going to need so much parking, probably. Oh, those those 1950s vehicles, yeah. Except for the uh, what the uh, uh, Evangeline ones. Oh, I hear you, my my goofy setup, Gooch, with the uh, <laughs> on the on the big table. I gotta change it. Still, it's such a mess. Such a mess. Oh. It's just kind of jumbled into a part of the room that it doesn't really mean to be. I've kind of switched around now. I've, I brought some of my furniture in over the time that I was out. It's a little different. I should post a new picture, but it's still like, I need to get my desk out of the other side of the room and change this table. This table's supposed to be in another room. Yeah, I've still got four monitors and I bought a stand that puts two of them right on top of each other. So that helps. Um, and took up a little less room. And then I bought like a riser for my big screen TV so it could go on the same kind of behind sofa table or whatever, but I've still got to do some work with the bookshelves and get my skateboard song and I got a lot of stuff to do still. But I wanted to get back streaming before I got back to part-time working so that then I would be doing both, you know, keep the momentum going. All right. I should put like some scaffolding or something there maybe. Okay, so what am I gonna do here to cover the garbage on the ground? How much room do I have inside? I have room, okay, I got an idea. Waste some more nodes, maybe. Got an idea, though. Let's see. Um, probably be easier to build somewhere else, though. So let's grab... Uh, no, content creator. going to be tricky since it's a key. Of course, you're going backwards, don't you? If I spin you, you're just going to spin yourself backwards, aren't you? Well, maybe not. Yep, I just did it. really wanted that to work. Okay, don't I have another one of those though? Hold on. I have another one. What's it called? It's called something crazy. I wonder where it's going to be though. It's not there. I 
have this thing that I saw when I was I was using intersection marking tool and I could add it to a row and I was like, oh, look at that. That might be how I have to find it. All right, let's, let's try to find it that way. Because I know it's in here, I know it has a weird name. So if I do like a road here, I mean a line rather, and I make that a decorative network. Wait, what? Oh, decorative, I just changed the way it's set up. Okay, decorative network, network asset, you were at the very bottom for see it anymore. I had a very distinctive picture. I would have noticed it. I must have unsubscribed to it. Nope, that's it right there. 12. find you anyway. How am I going to find you? 12, really? 12? There it is, right there, 12. <laughs> so weird. Okay, so let's uh, reset that then. Now that we found it. 12. Alright, Mr. 12. Let's see what we can do with you. You're going to come to here. It covers up the goof. So can I put this to terrain height? Doesn't really work. Right there. All right, the ugly stadium's not as ugly anymore. Getting de -uglied. Okay, and then we should be able to just do the old. Of course. <laughs> okay, that's gonna look bad. That looks great. What's up, Teddy? Welcome in. 
Hej hej. Hej hej hej. going good, Teddy. Uh, it's been slow, but it turned out good. Uh, I started the day, turned out well. I started the day trying to figure out I had a big traffic problem here, so I had to figure it out, and it turned out that my parking lot road that I had in front of here, I needed to add a two-laner. So I added a two-laner, and everybody stopped spawning, but I still have all these people waiting for taxis or whatever. Public transport, we're going to put in a bus line in a minute, but been working on this area here. You remember the other day we were working on this one finished it up and then we we're working on the block beside it which we I think we pretty much finished this which is some decals tire tracks and these little condos Got a nice little view here of the and then we started working on the retaining wall network or I you know started detailing up over here and adding in little shops and started putting in bushes and little benches and you know I put these surface networks back here made this platform we're gonna put tables and stuff on and make it look like there's action yeah I thought about that Teddy I thought about that but I really wanted to have traffic through it I thought about it I, I like I I gave it more thought than I've ever given something like that and then we just figured out I just found this item called 12 that's like a retaining wall network that looks kind of like one of the key walls right but it doesn't do the weird things in the ground so I can actually use it here it's got these cool little planters on it too so I'm gonna have to put some little bushes maybe some some kind of fountains and stuff out here in front of the baseball stadium and then like maybe this area will be like service stuff as a matter of fact, oh, I got an idea, I bet. I got an idea. I got an idea for right here that involves like a building that looks like you can drive through and under into a loading dock or something. Hey, what's up, CSL Slid? What's up? Good to see you again too. And then somebody want somebody suggested we do a you know a hotel right there, so we picked out that one next to the thing we're gonna do. So we've got some I we're we're working into some ideas here on the shore around the baseball stadium very slowly. We spent a long time fixing, trying to fix the traffic loop. That was a big part of the day. I think I'm gonna do some shops here. Or a parking lot there, maybe like VIP parking. Shop here. fountains and or a fountain in the center and then just cheesy Ivania planter it up around the outside to make it easy okay yeah Woo! oh Teddy you missed the FIFA stream of all FIFA streams last night I don't I don't think you were still awake and lurking but lost all four lost all four games last night we got Arsenal in our first game tonight We're gonna get destroyed. Oh, it was just brutal, Teddy. It was brutal. Yeah, Arsenal in the cup. We lost a cup game in the Papa John's trophy. That was one of the losses. We started out with the 2-0 loss. It was a 2-0 loss. Then the cup loss was 2-1, I think. And then the next one, we like came back and tied them 3-3 and ended up losing 6-3 to some nobody. And then I played one more that I hadn't planned on playing because I was so angry. And I was winning that one 3-2 and gave up a penalty and then they scored in the 90th minute and beat me. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, it was just brutal. Brutal. Okay. 
Okay, so this is going to be... Oh, it's actually three deep, even. That gives me better parking lot options, actually. Uh, ploppable, parking. Parking. Learn how to spell, sir. Uh, all by three. Let's see what our options are. We got the hedgy one, which would block my mural, so we're not using that. The ones with fence, which is not really really. Oh, we got these six by three ones open ended. Uh, closed end. I probably want the closed end. that for that one. Except for we need bumpers. I feel like I need to do, I'm going to do the maintenance on stuck sims because I have a feeling that's why we're getting slow because I've moved a lot of stuff around today get them too close so we're not going any closer than that all right and then we would want some kind of building there that was okay so we got three you know can go three deep no that would block the Yeah, I use big U.S. roads a lot, but they are very uh, taxing, I'll say that. That's one of those ones that I will definitely say is taxing. There's that new Dairy Queen. We could use it. Although it would be a Starbucks, probably not a Dairy Queen. That would strangely fit there, too, as a selling inside the stadium type thing. Because that's how it is in Charlotte. There's right up against it. Like that. Be perfect. Sponsored by AT&T. We got a store right on the stadium. In fact, we can get roughed a pub right there. We can make that work. Yeah, we can do that.
we'll fix that with a little stair. Uh, we're, do I have one that like bends? I can swear I have one that's like, where is it? No, I guess I don't. Okay, and then what? <laughs> We're going to do something different instead. We're going to do Prefab. Like, I don't use custom highways because of some of the things with custom highways that bother me. But that's just a design issue that I have with the way they've got them. I don't necessarily agree um, with how they get, you know, several of the highways get narrower when they go elevated and it really bothers me how much space becomes between the two different lanes and that's not how the highway overpasses are in my area. They, you know, or, you know, any of the United States that I've traveled, which is most, you know, at some point, most of it, and I don't know if we might be doing that now in some cities, but um, for the most part, you know, like they stay the same width the ground level and the elevated roads you know you don't have these super narrow on ramps or whatever you know if you understand what i'm saying so um i don't use a lot of them just purely because of that Thank 
good though. this Honestly, but a dumpster. Uh, recycling container. Three. Uh, vanilla, please. Let's go back to its regular size. And back. grassed in so we're gonna need a or at least part of it so that's gonna be a brush so that we can get a good end I think right let's see here let's see what it does for us actually oh actually it's a, be bad to get to the road of course use a brush on you. Brioche. Let's 
surfaces all by all. Two by. Guessing those people are just all at hang around markers and are not like stuck. I still want to just in case because we haven't done it in a while. And what I want to do really is um, let's see, we're going to go down here. Okay, the people have cleared out. That's good. I was worried. I, want, I was going to release them while I was watching to see if they all disappeared off into their wilderness. No, I'm not moved, so we're all good. You just use blank roads? That's what I was thinking about doing on my next project, but then I started looking at the blank roads, and even those seem like they have huge file sizes. building. Really, it should be like there so the parking lot stays level all the way across, which means that all that stuff that I did is going to be got a bunch. Okay, and that means that all these little props also go back to train right? It's not that bad. see any problems with this. I don't really like it being down low because of that though. That's not even the door though really. That's the door. I should just put something around that. Oh no, she came out of it though. a happy medium. I guess it would make more sense that the parking lot slope, but 
I do like this part better now. Hmm. How about I waste a couple more notes? Um. See if I can fix it. Which I will never do, and I can never find the thing that I use to fix it. So search this way. So if I ever try. Have a good one, Gooch. Enjoy your build. <clears throat> How's everybody else doing in here today on this Saturday? It's beautiful where I am, actually. I'm surprised by how nice, look, nice it is out. Okay, then we need some bushes. I'm sure it's cold other parts of the world it is actually nice today here Super icy out. Ooh. Watch a meteor later on. That's cool. Viewable in your area. Code orange for snowstorms. Ooh. tell you one of the funniest things about like going from like Seattle, Portland, uh, you know, anywhere else that I lived with mountains, basically Northeast, whatever, and snow, right? And moving uh, to the South. Okay. Charlotte has two salt trucks. City of Charlotte, which is one of the biggest, you know, cities in the southeast two salt trucks if that if it snows downtown charlotte like i used to run a restaurant downtown charlotte as a lot of you know and it is completely shut down for days on like two inches of snow it is absolutely hilarious honestly it's like the most crippling thing ever that can happen actually funny. At least I found it funny. But that's because I have a strange sense of humor. Let's turn your cards on. That's right. I got safe slip city this morning. When you ban all vehicles and forget to pick up custom ones, it tends to cause problems. It's funny because I've done that before too. 
I, I've done that before, so don't feel bad about it. Absolutely. How did the rest of your day turn out, Slim? I watched for a while, and you, I think you said it was getting about time for you to get off or whatever, and I ran upstairs and did an errand and got on. At that point, how much longer did you stay past your out time? with roads today as it seems like Teddy was as well so the traffic fixes snappy stuff with the bushes and it doesn't have anything to do with that because otherwise I wouldn't even be able to put it up there. It'd be down on the ground. It's just weird. It never was like that before the new 81 tiles and um, all the new stuff. It just seems so much more gridded to me now never really felt those mystery squares that everything snapped to whether you knew it snapped there or not you know and now it's like all I feel anytime I try to move a set of bushes Yeah, we've been working on this stuff, building retaining walls around our baseball stadium, working on this little area here, raising this road up so you can get under it, putting in some little stuff. You think you would have started all over again, Slim? That's actually pretty funny. the oldest stadium on the workshop into a workable stadium. I was intrigued by your problem. A problem that I'm intrigued by that makes me feel good that I can fix because I always have to ask like Chameleon to fix my problems. So to find one that I felt like I could do something about was pretty cool, I gotta say. 
Okay, the question is, do we put a business here and add more traffic on this corner? The answer is probably yes. I mean, wouldn't they? I don't know. What do we think is here? A business? Hey! What's up, Davia? Ty, what's up, Ty? How you doing? Good morning to you. Good evening to me, actually. I just don't know if that's a good idea. sense to be there. like a little alley for deliveries. Nope, not doing that. You see that angry me. So if I want to extend that, that's going to have to be the brush again. Telling you these brushes are the best item on the workshop. These different size brushes, this collection of brushes is like the bailout for me, the I hate surface painter answer to all your problems. Those clean edges like that. Mm -hmm. Alright, that'll give us our turnaround for a truck. So we want like no parking. Drive through the building to get to your parking space. I know how important that is to you. Okay. We might do... No, we're not going to do any parking there because there's parking on this road. So no parking here either. Right, and then we need like a stain. Washed out the garbage from back here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh for the brushes it's not a mod they're assets if you just um i'll show you hold on brush there's a whole bunch of them um that the guys made there's all different kinds there's like tiled ones and stuff i only use like ruined gravel and concrete i think um he has a whole collection of them let me see here Yeah, you just put in brush, one by four concrete. I'll put one of them in the uh, chat. Oh, whoa. I can swear I just saw a car over my head. Yeah, where well, it is right there. Flying cars. 
scaring me. Might do a fake parking lot there. And we'll put cars in it. Yeah, but it has a whole pack of those. Um, Well, those brushes take your theme texture, so it's all about your theme texture, too. Like, if I had a concrete one that had a different texture, it'd be a lot harder to... Uh, I say that about the Ronix theme decals, too, a lot of the time. that People use the, the, the Ronnie uh, theme decals. When you put them down at first, they don't look like they match your concrete texture at all. But when you blow them up, they actually, you know, if you scale them up, they look exactly like your concrete texture. It's kind of scary, honestly. Okay, so the thing is, is, we didn't see how any of those cars got in there. They just appeared there. And I really want to see how one goes through there, if it's going to go through this road or not. Yeah, we got a little motorbike that parked there. It'll be our first victim. What I'm thinking is it would be like this. see any cars going there I want to put it like a couple fences here is what I'm thinking but I don't want to waste my time uh, broken fence A little 
too big though. I don't remember these scale. Yeah, okay. Let's see if somebody drives through and annoys me. <clears throat> so many assets I need to give you. Now that I've seen the shaky, shaky shake, I really fancy a burger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and if you weren't, oh, oof. Oof. Yeah, that might might be a problem all right let's get another brush yeah it's hard to get delivery where I am too honestly like you can only get a few things it's really not worth it as a matter of fact I'm gonna go see what I can do about getting somebody to round me up some dinner so I can keep streaming give me a couple seconds let me run upstairs real quick one second
All right, sorry about that. You mentioned it, and so now I got a burger coming. Our burger being fetched before it gets dark because my elderly mother does not like to drive after dark, so we do not like to make her because that would be dangerous. There would be little tiny bushes behind those. There we go, tiny. I oh, could probably just go small, actually. Let's go small. of the wall and the building and everything else. Let's turn off the buildings. So we get just the bush. In there. Where that car just went, that was kind of weird. Maybe there's some visible parking spaces on the stadium or something I don't know about. Let's see. Uh, hello? Spot you, what? Oh. Okay. Maybe he was going to that parking. Maybe they go through that wall to go to the parking. I don't know, that was wild. Maybe he went through that wall to go to that part. She just walked through my bench. Just playing in the bushes over here. here earlier building a stadium
be a car right there. Um, how about a Toyota? people here or no? You're supposed to be park people generating. Who knows if that'll ever do anything. Perhaps. Okay, right here. What's that about? That should be like a little shop or something. But we add just a little one by one on it. Um, we'll just add the one by one. This on the side. Too easy. Side's done. So we're down here by the harbor, which probably needs to be a key wall to there, a walkable key around. That's probably what that's gonna have to be. We need to do all the stuff on the top with the tables and fan areas. It's gonna be a lot. <laughs> just, I was just thinking about that. Like, hmm, how am I gonna do that? Make it look like vendor stands and stuff. Oh, that's a lot. Somebody should make me a park pro prop asset for that. Okay, I think that the other thing to do here would be that there shouldn't be parking there, but I'm t hesitant to limit it, honestly. Um, okay, what are we actually going to do in the front here? It's a little bit of a hill there, so it can't really be... It's got to be kind of nature, I guess. We do need a fountain out in the middle, some sort of fountain. We should try to find that fountain. Maybe. Possible. No. Just had something else though. Yeah, right here. It was this one. Yeah, let's do that one. 
The other one's too modern for our old baseball stadium. Okay, so I know what we're gonna do here. So let's go Sunken Plaza. Uh, the strip of water wouldn't really work with the hill the way it is because this is below up here. So I wouldn't be able to really get a strip of water in there. Unfortunately, it would made all kinds of texture tearing and stuff. That would be cool. too small. I'm afraid that if I use this one, yeah, that's too big. Oh, I know exactly what I need. Oh, I did not think of this before. Okay. So this goes here. We need is just this. What? Is the top not going to go down? There it is. Okay. Node. Basically, what I need, let me see if I can just do this with my mind here. Okay, let's just take that out for a second. What I need is this, uh, let's see, network multi-tool. to that 12 again. Where was it? 12. There. And now if I do it, network multi-tool. Okay. And then we, is it already the way I want it? It is, isn't it? Okay. So we just need to scoot it out. So how do I do that again? That's the offset, right? Plus or minus for offset. Let's see here. And then height is what? I'll just have to do that on my own, I guess. that 
to adjust the brown. If I can, this will be the tricky part. No, it's not gonna let me. straight to the corner, which I could try, I guess, it couldn't hurt, let's see here, let's uh, insert a node, and then let's see if it allows me to make that node like a uh, end. Not the buildings. It's gonna get weird in the corner, isn't it? Mm. That's where that sunken plaza comes in. But the problem is, is the plaza's not really sunken. Okay, so let's just take that out then. with a tree in the corner or something or a, some other statue we'll figure it out I'll blow up a planner Uh, stop that. Okay, I think I can fix that. I'm not really a big fan of how these end. And why is that one so much... It's just one big segment. Is that what that is? It's because this is two segments.
Okay, this node isn't sloped. That's what that problem is. Okay. Still weird there. It's still strange. Okay, let's add another node and see if it's because there's two. Does anything strange? Yeah, it probably does. Okay, let's see if I can find something that I can stick in there and make it disappear. Uh, I'm gonna need like a planter. Prop. I can shrink that enough to make it work. That wouldn't work. Maybe. second such a that's such a great turn on if anybody knows Glendale <laughs> I wanted to be Prince so bad it's frightening That's the problem about surface manner. So we can go to there. And then we need to get one of those brushes again. Where was it? There it was. Give it something to end on, otherwise it gets wild. Statue, well, it'd have to be baseball. I don't know if there is a good baseball statue. But I think the little steps look good, right? I mean, we need some curbs, I think. That's the other thing we're gonna do here. Let's go. Um, I really don't wanna do this with props, but I could. Or I could just do it with the network and waste a couple more nodes. Because there's got to be a curve on that, I feel like. Um, so let's try that with IMT then. So because I wanted to do this anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to bring out the 
line here and that rule is going to be solid. Right? Yeah, okay. And then I need this to there. Here we need that solid. Get this first line down and then we can do the others. Solid line. section marking tool again we're going to add a rule and that rule is going to be a decorative network and it's going to be something with curb I hate that Disappeared. That one doesn't work either. That one does. Okay, so then we'll scoot it over. Yep. Oh, didn't save it. Offset before. Yeah, that's obviously the other end. There we go. Offset after. Slide it down by that corner planner. And the height can probably go up a little bit. Okay. Enter. Okay, now I can copy that line. Add it here. And then we copy the line here and see if it works right here. And rule paste. Now, of course, it's backwards. Uh, so it needs to be 5.1. And then we wouldn't want any offset on this one. This one we needed to switch the offset as well. So it was that way. Okay, that works. That hides that little line from my eyes. flowers when we get back. Here we grab my burger. I think it just arrived upstairs. I can do that one-handed while I eat. Copy those flowers. We'll put something nice in there. Put some stains in the bottom so it looks like it's been weathered a bit. Let's see if I can 
anyway. Together, though. All right, let's see. Let's find something to watch. Stairs real quick, grab my food. I'll be right back. It'll probably take me two minutes. Give me one second. Man, I love this little Greek diner that's right down the street from my house because literally I can call and by the time I get there, it's perfect. It's, I go through the drive-thru, it's perfectly ready every time. Support your local Greek restaurateur. They are hardworking, usually have the best values. Mm, yummy, yummy. It's a fire today. It's like the third one.
All right, I'm here. Feel free to ask questions while I eat. I'll be happy to try to answer them. So that shot right there reminds me of something. Okay, difference between blimps and hot air balloons. Why didn't they make the blimps like the hot air balloons where they just float around? Like the hot air balloons, I can't control where it goes. It just floats around. Isn't that how a blimp acts? I mean, why did they make blimp stops? I think that's where they failed with the blimps, honestly. They should just fly around. Because I've had to really, I don't know, trick it to where I have two stops for it. So it looks like it just flies around. But, I mean, it lands in the middle of the stadium. Yeah, but they're not. Hot air balloons were probably intended to be a transportation at 1.2. I mean, the aeronauts blew hot air balloons. Probably with more success as transportation than... Zeppelin drivers or dirigibles or any of that. I don't know. When I see a blimp, it hovers over a stadium. That's the only time you see them in America. I don't know. Or a race. I can't go on any blimps that I know of. Slim, Slim, this is one of those times where I would say you were alive when they took transportation like blimps, right? Just kidding. That's how I'm called for. You are one of the first few people that I could probably make age jokes with, so. Yeah, I mean, who has a functional blimp right, bro? <laughs> who has a flick? Like, when I think of blimps, all I think of is uh, advertising. watching this car float through bushes and across the train tracks and everything. It's about to come out by, uh, through the intersection by the stadium. I'm wondering if it's ever going to get on the road. Liverpool and Belfast, boom. Yeah, I mean, the last, to be fair, the last cool thing I heard about was that they were in, they were opening something, uh, around there that was gonna like hook Liverpool into a, like a super train or something that was gonna make it like a 50 minute ride. But that, you know, who knows, you guys are 
super broke since you left the EU and all that, right? <laughs> oh, nice one, Harry. Well played, well played. All right, I'm going to take my plate up one second. That was a little wild. A lot from the observatory, or the uh, Space Needle just jumped at me when I turned it up. I was tired of watching it, the vanilla LOD. I wanted a little better graphic there. This was one of my favorite days. This was like the 12 hour build right here. I remember this, we did the police academy, the school of engineering, this shopping center, this whole section. And it was way too much. I bit off way more than I could chew on that. And the next day we spent like 12 hours on just this. <laughs> This was one of those days I just couldn't give up till I was done. It was like, I remember we streamed for 12 hours and then I was in Discord, in mod chat, like chatting with Cruft and C. Brooks and Lone Bear, I think. And I was still building and putting down like all the, fixing all the bushes and everything for like another three hours before I went to bed. Oh my Lord, look at all these parking spots that are under the ground. Uh, let's see if we can fix all these real quick. All right, that should fix that. Fixing problems, fixing problems. That's what playing City Skylines is. All right, back to our baseball stadium renovation. What's up, Sativalicious? That time in the evening? here yesterday what do you think we added a little underpass a little extra bridge that to clear up my traffic problem and then we've been we detailed out this little hill over here added in these condos from yesterday Sorted all that out. And then we found this number 12 asset. That's this network. Network number 12. I think that there might be a way for me to fix that, but I'm not sure. I don't know might just be the skatable bank that all the skaters go hit. 
the stadium until they get run off by the security. <clears throat> it's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, we've been working on this area. We put up the retaining walls, surface networks to cover it. I'm going to try to do like tables around it and, you know, we'll do some, maybe hopefully figure out a way to do some like stalls, you know, prop market stalls or whatever through there, vendor stalls, a little fence around it so you can't just climb in the game for free. I really like this. I like how it's right at the bottom of the windows. It worked out really well. And then we're gonna put something here. Probably some bushes. I don't really wanna block the fountain, that's the thing. So maybe some low flowers here. Should this side be like... I did those little red robins on the inside. Should these be junipers maybe? Or should they be the same thing? Let's see. Why are those two so close together? That's weird too. That doesn't happen on the other side, does it? No. Uh-huh. Almost got me. You almost got me. That's pretty good. That was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. Almost got that one by me. Or. Like that. Oh, I'm still on the other screen, aren't I? <laughs> Do I have an area for dense population? I have lots of areas for dense population. Dense population, dense, stupid. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. I get it, Slim. I was trying not to, not to let you have that one, though. But I don't want to make, I don't, at the same time, I don't want you to think I don't get it, because I get it.
Okay. Snapping bushes. Close. On the road to 10K. There you go. I feel like Yeah. Okay, now this. So obviously we have to work in some of these. here because it's the Mariners. The blue azalea is so ugly. <laughs> it just is. It's just not as nice. Although this one's not bad. Could have done those. Another day. The blue azalea. See, it's just not. It's like so flat and two-dimensional. The red robin is a nice bush. The red robin has a nice bush. Let's see here. <coughs> hey, what's up, Tommy? How we doing? How is your day? I don't think that purple and red work together. the white. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, that looks good. We're an ugly stadium. We have made this ugly stadium looking good. I'm just saying. Ugly stadium is looking not so ugly. We're 
working on the harbor area we were working on the other day. This is what we put in. The ferry piers and the little, what is this node? What's that about? What is that about? That's the default. And then it does it the other way. That's so weird. It's like it's flipped, but it's not because the so weird because the lights all on the right oh that lights not though hmm but I don't think that's going to do it See, this one's right that's what's so weird it's like it wants me to have the road on the other side or that's weird that's weird. I'm not going to look at that again. That'll make me upset. Hey, what's up, Motocero? Good to see you, bud. You doing well? Last week, Motocero, we worked on an area around one of your buildings. Around this elevated train station and these other, this other building yours. I believe that other one's yours as well rail building or whatever. It's the inspiration for this shopping district. I guess I should put it in the vanilla, shouldn't I? I should save the game before I do that again because you lot is so wrong. Save the game. I haven't saved today at all. It just got me nervous. Yeah, it's been a while. I, I had, had a wild fall, so I had some things to take care of, but now I'm trying to get back to it at least a few days a week and this last week it's been a lot because I've had a lot of free time this last week. I haven't started my next job yet, so. Yeah, but we're pretty much, we're getting there. Pretty much on to the next project. But yeah, we started in this little area over here, Tavi. And so we've been, today we are working on this. We did this little underpass and exit because before I had another little one-way road here and all the people were spawning and clogging up traffic, it was a real nightmare. And then we fixed up the yards in this block that we had kind of rapidly thrown down yesterday. And then we started immediately working over here into the baseball stadium area. Trying to get one thing done at a time. I think this desperately is going to need something else though, right? Benches. Ben if I want to do benches though. I actually haven't started yet. My um I was supposed to I'm supposed to my I told you that my boss is a he's a Chinese American, his mother lived in India. He was going to celebrate the uh Chinese New Year and um or Lunar New Year, whatever, and uh the 18 month anniversary of her passing because he couldn't go during COVID. So he went to India and he said he called me when he got back, but he didn't tell me how many days he'd be gone. Now, I've never known him be gone from the restaurant more than 10 days. So I'm sure he'll be back tomorrow, the next day, whatever. Um, and I don't know if I'll be starting on the weekend or what, but you know, just hanging out. So until he calls, I'm just here hanging out. Um, Gooch, what do you, what, what are you using? I'm 
trying to think if I'm... Did you download my entire mod list or what? Because there might be one or two that you have to avoid. No, you did not. Okay, did you... I know that one that did not work for me was... Um, if you're using movable bridges, make sure you have the newest version of movable bridge mod because I know that that error behaves very similarly to what you described. So make sure you have the newest version, the cuboid version of the fixed movable bridge mod if you're using that, I don't know. Um, the other thing I was thinking is on my mod list, I think there's like something called single track AI or something for train tracks and I don't think I have it enabled right now because I think it's not fixed yet. Did you happen to get the compatibility report mod, Gooch? Because that would be the easiest way, would be to get the compatibility report and then you go to your content manager and when you go into the options for it, it has like a export and view the thing and it'll tell you which mods are not working with each other. And that's it. Oh, you have it active, uh, Tommy, because I did, I deactivated it because of, um, I was having problems with passenger trains. Yeah, you should be able to post it, I think, Tommy. I think VIPs can post links. Here, I'll show you, Gooch, like right here. You just, you just go here to the options for compatibility mod, compatibility report, right? You'd hit this collect logs and open directory. Okay. Let me see. That's going to open it somewhere. Where is it? And then that's going to bring you. Come on. That's going to bring you to your file pages, right? And you would just go in the zip and hit this little web browser one. And it'll give you a report like this. I have one mod that I should unsubscribe for, Marie Light, and then it says these have blah 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 blah. And then you, if you have any that have blah 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 blah, then read what blah 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 is, and some of them may conflict with each other. Does that make sense? It's pretty easy, actually. I'm pretty impressed with that one. That's a pretty easy thing. That's like one of the first things whenever I send like Chameleon my help files, he asks for that file because it has all your debug files for all your stuff. It's really easy. Well, Toppy says that one works, so it may work. I just haven't re-enabled it yet. So I can't, I can't say, I can neither confirm nor deny that that works nor does not work. Okay, the question is, I think we need this same curb, don't we? So, let's see if we can do that without too much trouble on here. Um, oh. First thing we need is a line. And it can be actually, we'll just do the one curve, I think. So, decorative network. And then it was the last of those red curves. That one, yeah. We elevated it a little. And then we shift it in. Wait, no, we elevated it a little. There we go. And then we shift it. And then the offset before. Makes me want to fix that other one now. Okay, and then we'll copy this and paste. Wait, let me just copy this. Oh, but that's going to have the offset before, but that doesn't really matter. Copy this, drop it in here, paste, check, yes, then we'll fix the offset. Zero. 
Unfortunately, we can't stretch it beyond, so we'll have to do one in there. So we'll do it from there to there. Decorative network. Do that bottom red curb. Um, shift it in. Elevate it. We will change the after. No, nope, that's the before. That one. Before offset to move it away from the cruft bar. Because they roll, have to roll up their recycling thing and all that kind of stuff, so. Actually, we should roll it all the way up. Okay, and then over here, I want to fix this one now. So there's the curb. There. It doesn't really block the thing I wanted it to block in the first place, does it? This idea the other day of bringing a tram down here. Because there's no exit there, I could easily bring that tram road down in. It'd just be one block. Hmm, I'll have to think about that for another day. That's not for today. Alright, we're gonna just uh Reset that back to where it was. And I'm going to see if it bugs me. And if it does, I may have to just scoot this down and make the adjustment to make it line up myself. Okay, I need some stains. That's one thing I definitely need. Let's see here. Stains. Building a dream city. I am building a Pacific Northwest theme city. Yes. Not necessarily, yeah, I guess not a city of my dreams necessarily, but more of a community. It's a pretty large undertaking we've taken on for many, many months, modded. Thank you for the first time chat, Red J. Welcome in. We're working on this baseball stadium area today. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we've been working on it a long time, you know, so. My motto is that there's no prize for finishing early in this game. There's no speed runs in City Skylines. All you're going to do is start another city anyway, so you might as well just build a nice one, you know. So I'm trying to actually finish this city. And we've got this big section left here of downtown that we got to fill still. We just started on the shore. And we got to finish, fill into there. What is that? Oh, that's that key wall that I put in there that needs to go before I forget about it. Yeah, so we started over here, or we started working on the ferry pier. And then I put in this aquarium and we worked around it the other day. Just kind of go block by block and think about what you see when you drive down the street and I place everything. You can tell that to him. <laughs> I'll let you do that, Slim.
Okay, so there. I'm going to have a, the same similar problem. Let's see if we do this. Let's go prop here. Get that planter again. Let's see if I drop one of these in here, if I could do something to hide that. Let's see here. Boom, boom. Scale it up a couple bumps. either so it needs to be there it needs to be like that tall okay which means we need prefab walls prefab prefab these little props from the workshop oh the great thing about this game you know those of you who don't know if you're new in red j if you've never i don't know how much cities you play or if you have played or if you just wandered by, as a lot of people do with cities, it's an interesting game. Um, but, you know, the workshop is where it's at. You know, people make all kinds of great stuff for this game. So um, we use and abuse the workshop. So I'll do something like that. Uh, still gonna be that, but I could probably cover, get that covered with bushes and be fine with it. Okay, so let's get our bushes then. Let's do that. Actually, I'm going to put these stains in before I forget about it because that's what every time I float over here, I think it's too clean. So we're going to do some stains. Oh, their networks, they're not going to want me on there. Or their buildings or whatever. Buildings and networks, it's like deciding. It's like, do we really want him to put decals here or not? Let's make it look like one big runoff. I repetitively using the same decal. Like they hosed it off from the top of the stairs or something, you know? Gully, 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 gully. There we go. Maybe even these on that end, yes. Now we're talking. Okay, that did a lot, and now let's go puddles. Puddle. those though let's see if it lets me move it or if it just disappears no it's gonna let me move it okay nope no one I want it. Actually, that looks pretty good there. I rarely use that huge puddle. Where's the other one that I'm actually looking for? Not you.
Okay, that looks better. And then one more of those. Nope, not that. One more of these. Where can I get it? Okay, and then there should be one of the small ones too. Where is it? That's not it. That's it. Where are you gonna show up? Okay, I love that. mods that were broken Gucci yeah, that'll do it yeah there are several different ways you can play the game uh, red you can play the game completely vanilla and then you know we worry about a lot of traffic there's ways to mod a lot of that out you spawn some traffic um, obviously I have a lot of monorail buses ferries in this area you can see all the people just walking from the ferry port instead of spawning cars and you know these ones are all waiting for taxis i think for eventual bus line but you know hordes of people getting off the ferries going to the other ferries and we don't even have much built down here yet so um it's gonna get trafficy. But even, but you know, I have so many trams and like other forms of transportation everywhere. Like my traffic isn't that bad. It's like 75% though. I mean, you know, Biffo wouldn't like it, but that's what it is. All right, let's see here. So we need next one of these bushes. That'd be the next thing I could easily Prescribe. <laughs> so we're going to need bushes to block that. One last bit of that ugly stadium that was showing. Weird texturing from the windows that was showing all around the bottom of the stadium. Some of you in there. Hey, Red, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Like I said, if I didn't say earlier, I'm anti Tar Heel. I used to stream like four days a week on Twitch for like eight hours a day, five, day, five days a week at one point. Also, I guess, technically. Um, <laughs> that took like a three month break, and I've been back for a couple weeks. I've been going pretty hard at the city again, so I appreciate the follow, and hopefully we'll be around. We also play some FIFA, which, whenever I get this stadium finished, is what I'm hoping to do a little bit of today. We'll see. Maybe I need a day off from FIFA after yesterday's oh, just destruction, but I did promise FIFA. So if Seabrooks is around later, we're playing the Arsenal game at least, or Gruff shows up. It's been a lot of fun, the FIFA streams. Losing four in a row yesterday was not fun. And uh, But once again, that's what I thought was great about it. It's just like, if I was playing a FIFA career by myself, with no one watching, not streaming it, 
I can bet you that that game that I came back to tie them 3-3 and then they scored three goals on me in like the last 20 minutes, I would have restarted that game. Probably the last one that I took the lead 3-2 and then they scored two more, you know, penalty and then scored one to beat me. Probably would have restarted that one too. So doing it on stream is cool because it's actually, I'm actually going to hold myself accountable to that. And, you know, no shenanigans will be played by me with a redo to get to a cup final here or there or whatever. So it's, you know, I think it's going to be a lot more fun that way. For me, at least, a lot more challenging. And for those that, you know, seem to enjoy it. It's been great to see Cruft hanging around it. Great to see him have some free time. Glad. And Seabrooks has definitely been enjoying it. And, uh, you know, the memes have been flying in the sports channel of, on the Discord. And we, Gaiden has our first, made up our first chant for our star. I wouldn't say star, but star of this year, most likely. It's been fun. It's encouraging. I look forward to playing other games as well. So it's encouraging to play other games and not go down to one viewer. You know, we may go down to fifteen. <laughs> Ten of those might be asleep, but it's fun. And the ones that are here are definitely active in the gamb points gambling for the winnings, for the win of lose of the match. I enabled TTS for a dollar. You can ask coaches questions after the match in the press conference. So if you want to tell me how crap I am, you get the chance to do it, which is fun. All right, we're going to do something like that. And we got to figure out what else is going to be up on that hill. And then I wanted to do, what is it? The industrial road, um, uh, unused, 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 industrial. That something like that would work, or didn't I have something that was smaller than that? I thought. I know I did, but where are you? What would this look like? That's way too tall. Hmm. Strangely enough, you would work if you weren't so dense. So we want something that's like two. This a bit, doesn't it? Let's see here. Oh, that is too, though. Maybe that was just destiny. I don't know. I don't. It doesn't feel it. It doesn't feel right to me.
always gets deliveries. Okay, and then that means I can get rid of these. Okay, and that also means we need a mural there. I'm gonna put the same Mariners one there. Or I need another building right beside it. I could get away with that instead of a mural. Let's look. Let's see what we got. Um, all by three. I wouldn't mind like some kind of burger stand or something on this side. There's Motocera's Tim Hortons. It's got a drive through on it, so that's not going to be the choice, unfortunately. It'd be beautiful. It's just a little too tall to make happen there. That would have been nice, though. Or a taller one on the end. And you're all the other way towards the harbor. Ooh, 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 possible ideas. Uh, no, the back doesn't work. Otherwise, that would probably work. But it gives me other ideas. All right, what are we catching up on chat here? Ah, Seb enjoyed it as well. That's cool, man. Yesterday was a loser, too. Yesterday was a loser of a stream, too. So I'm glad that you enjoyed it. That was fun, though. I mean, I had fun, even though I got my butt whooped. Um, but like I said, I would have started those over. So I think that's pretty cool. See, that just... No. That would actually work. You can see all the Botocero buildings I got. I got the new Shell, got the Tim's, got the Donutology. Oh, that's got a drive through on it too. Or is that a drive through technically? Yes, there's arrows. It's not gonna work either then. Mm-hmm, it was an idea. Donutology have it drive through, yes, but I could shove it inside the building, but that wouldn't, it doesn't really fit the area. Let's see here. That has a drive-thru on it, unfortunately. Uh, no. that flat okay that answers it then how about one by three no, I, was I was actually searching by and use so let me go back and look at it again here and see see if I can find anything else that I like <laughs> yeah Spino lost all his points and uh, probably if he, if he gambled Yesterday, everybody was losing. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. The points went out the window yesterday in the FIFA stream if you were betting on anything but loss. There's a Duncan. That wouldn't really work. There's another Duncan. There's a Starbucks with a drive through. Don't want to do that. Okay, other than that, everything's pretty much the same. I think I want just a little parking is what I want. I think what I want... I don't want it parking that side. I don't want it parking from the other side. I thought that was from the other side. No, I don't want that extra network piece either, so we're going to put it on this 
this one. That's even not enough room for parking, never mind. So, let's start thinking about what it is enough room for then, if anything. It would be enough room for just a little park thing. Oh my god, how has that still got its tree in it? How has that... I know I mobbed that at least seven times. Uh, I could still do it though. Let's see. Or is there something else that would look good there? This one might. tiles though they're a problem let's look at a different tile how about um, I guess just tile the easiest way to do it that's better turn the other way, maybe. Nope, that's a little strip. Red brick. That's just a little strip. All the eights. Find one that we like the most. That's just white. Nature Reserve, uh, Ugly Park Tiles, I think those might be the worst. Uh, uh, those actually might be the worst. They're even not, I mean, those are better than the Miz uh. Zoo, I rely on Zoo Tiles. Zoo Tiles are nice. They're br oh. Hello? Uh, we could try the other way this time though. Tile. for that actually I just don't like that it's either that one or the zoo tile for me No problem, Gooch. Enjoy your building. Tavi did most of the work. I kind of feel the zoo tile, maybe. I like the smaller texture. just going to be a problem still. If 
I did another one of these little take the bench off it would work See, I need another piece of. Let's see, turn off the decals. Piece of that prop wall. Okay. I like that. Okay, this will work actually. So we'll use it like this. Give it a big tree. trees over here somewhere, maybe two, maybe three. Okay, now. The only thing that's really left is the edge. little corner right the rest of that stadium is done what are we else missing from the shot of the screenshots this one block here it's really lacking nice that actually looks pretty good for that stadium I mean I almost forgive the awful brick texture what about you guys What do you think, Toby? For an ugly stadium, it looks pretty good now, huh? I like the front. It just needs stuff on the uh, on the upper balcony. it's no it's not Fenway because Fenway would have the big wall it says though it's a it's a minor league park somewhere in I want to say in Indiana maybe or somewhere uh, the guy the original guy who built it it's called Colossal Field on the workshop and I remember it says that it's based off of something the 
then we would have the big wall in left field with no seats until the very top and all that stuff. But it's the only brick textured stadium on the workshop. No, the vanilla one is this one that I'd used way back over here, which it reminds me more of a college stadium than anything. As it should, right? It would be a minor league. It'd be a good minor league stadium, too. Like a California minor league stadium. And I, I wish that, you know, you know what I you know what I'm gonna say. I wish we could break these animations out of here so we could put them in other assets and stuff, because it really like my soccer field not working really bugs me. Even though it gives me the event, I wish that the guys still could come out on the field. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Vanilla Football. That's the Vanilla Football. And then this is a King Leno, the basket campus. And then this one's the hockey stadium, right? That we that Cruft freed for me and then fixed the LOD on. I should ask somebody if I would get in trouble from Colossal for putting that up on the workshop. Because I think a lot of people would want to use that one now that it's fixed and doesn't glow in the dark. Because that looks like a city stadium, high school stadium. And then what else do we have? We had this one that's a King Leno one that he made for the university, which is perfect. His, that one's his university campus one, right? And then we have our made football stadium, like I said, that has the football vent in it. Where is it? Has the football vent in it. But well, we've wedged other stadiums on it to make it look better. jam what's going on is it trains now with TMP has he done something is that what the cheat what's going on now what's going on now why are my trains jammed up all of a sudden that never happens why are you stuck here what's your major malfunction sir there, you despawned. Does that mean there's a broken node here? Are you gonna go up here and despawn? Ah, curious, huh? Could that be because I used node controller to make those tracks even? I bet it is, so we will grab the node and use Cuboid's tool to fix another mod's mod. And now I bet they will go. Put up a rework for no assets, fine, okay. I didn't know. Um, I did hear from Cruft that, you know, like, Cruft messaged me one day when he stopped by and he actually heard me talking about the skateboards. Now I missed them off the workshop or whatever. He told me that they were still on the cloud that he had saved for me, so I still had them. But apparently they were one of a few things that he got claims for on the workshop. Um, you know, that it wasn't his art or whatever. What's going on here? Why are they all floating? Why did, see, what's that? What's that? What is that? Is that no controller as well? Oh my God.
I swear. Things that fix this game break it too. All right, we're fixed. No more train jam. Solved, he says. <laughs> yeah, they're just drifting. He's still doing it, though. I wonder if I used, like, shift to align. That is wild. And now I'm really curious. What's the note here? Okay, so there's two nodes there, so it's definitely not that. I mean, there's like four nodes there. What? Who needs tracks? We've got drifted trains. See, now I moved it, so... Yeah, see, what's it doing there? That could be right... That's what I say every time I think about what could be wrong. Mm. I could be right. Now was that? All right, hold on a second. Default. Default. Let's see if it's some kind of weird. Be able to get to that one. Well, okay, let's see. Straight. Ah, I'm interested. I could be right. issue. We're not going to see another train now because there's no more backup. Here we go. All right, there we go. He's going to go in there anyway, so it won't matter. want that stretched out though. It shouldn't be the problem. We'll see, Harry. We'll see. shall see. If we ever get another train through there. Oh, we'll come back. We'll revisit that point when we get hung up on that. I'd rather get hung up on these things. Okay. I think on this side, we're just going to go with a planter. Some big trees. 
nobody would walk all the way over to this corner anyway. There's no outer end. So I put a fake door there, I guess. Let's change these. stop signs that pop up when you do it in vanilla other thought would be to clip a building in here that was tall no it's too tall I say to have something that was taller to look over I don't think so I think it's a planter on this side with a couple trees in it uh, something rectangular Rectangular, non-conforming. Come on, get up there. You can blow up the non-conforming one. The conforming ones get all bent out of shape if you try to blow them up. gonna go with like that uh, is that even it's not centered that would be about as close as it would get to centered let's see maybe that way just a touch okay and then we would go with just big up there let's see here let's see here Taller, even. I'm trying to think, I don't like. There's one of these that I don't like. There's one that I do. As with most trees, or we could go with big junipers up there. Looking the big ones, even though I think that everything in here is probably going to be too large. The Hobbit tree just gets me. I just can't bring myself to use it. That one would work. thinking of though. Where's the one I'm thinking of? Probably behind my move it tab. Rotate that over. That one was one of the ones I was thinking of. Uh, that one may not work. No, that one doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. It needs to be like something manicured. So it needs to be... Okay, let's think this through. If it needs to be manicured, it needs to be something like the front. So it needs to be... Those aren't tall enough. These could become tall enough, though. Let's put a couple up here. Okay, if I did that... That could work. OK. 
Okay, so if we did that, B, say there. So if I turn the props off, nodes and segments. Five, six. Okay. And then we get some of the red bush. Put it up here. No, oh, those are so small though. It's gonna take too many. Um, what red flowers? Yeah, some of the new Lego sets are crazy. Crazy uh, complicated. That's for sure. I have a big tin of old Legos just sitting around here. It's gonna give them to Slay, but he never responded back. What's going on here? Are you not gonna go there? Did I not raise you up? What? Hello. Okay, you're not gonna work anyway, so. Mm. This is gonna be hard to decide here what I do. I just lower them down a bit and blow them up one more. Yeah, we're just going to do that. That's the easy way. Straight. Is the planter straight? Looks straight to me. They're straight. Okay. We need to give this building some parking, I think. We underthought about that. Maybe a little truck parking since it's industrial. So we'll get a brush. I think it's about time to switch. Although well, Slim's still awake, so we can continue to entertain him for a while. A little something like that. work and then get, we need a, like a tractor trailer um, trailer prop Okay, so we would want then some oil. About 
tire mark. Pick up. Uh, now let's get a what is that I'm looking for? I'm looking for maintenance truck, work truck, work. Hey, has her well, has her tick. To a welcome in. Thank you for the follow and the first time chat. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hey, what's up? Ben's here as well. How's everybody doing? Sorry, I was a little involved. Okay, is it maintenance? It's, oh my, what is it called? Ford, find it through here somehow. Let's take bed, here we go, that's what I was looking for right there. Back to the tire marks. Cells because otherwise the building wants to eat them. Okay. All right, let's see here. Slim, me never awake. Maybe a small oil spill. Were you, did you say that before I put down the oil things, Mr. Harry? Because that's pretty funny, actually. Hey, Guidance here. Guidance, we'll get to the FIFA soon. <laughs> we lost four in a row last night without you here, Guidance. <laughs> no worries, Ben. Lurking's always appreciated. <laughs> okay. Over here we need a little fence. Uh, I'd rather use the broken fence again. Maybe broken. We used it on the other side. Okay, and then push.
drop in some bushes here, finish this little corner off. Okay. Okay, I want like something else right there. I uh, don't know what though. Maybe just something like that. Oh, not like that. right here some sort of differing color than what we did before uh, maybe not against it Marcelo, good night, good night. Woo. Were you guys over hanging out in another stream every really long time no seeing? <laughs> Have I gathered the remnants of uh, of Saturday streamers past? Appreciate it, guys. Welcome in. All right, now, tables. use those as well though those are really the winners though as far as I'm concerned no not for here definitely not for here
Hmm, which one? Which one looks more ballparky? That one, he says. Mm -hmm. Not wood. This one? to at one point am I am I right about that keyboard it used to at one point and then uh, maybe I got lost in the QE star I thought if you copied it over I could swear it did but maybe I'm just maybe it's just one of those things I don't remember in my all right how are we gonna do this let's see here saying that to the VOD on, but actually it's not a bad one. It doesn't look like VOD at least. that actually okay then we need trash cans they'd be like this kind or the open top kind that you could clear out quickest shrink those to three, 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 three. Nope, that's too close. That's one too many. That's three, three.
Okay, now, you, 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 you. Wait, what did I do? I gotta do it again. That's three, that's two. So that one is three. No, that's three. That's three. Yeah, I did do it. Okay, where's the extra one down there before I get into this? There's the extra one. All right, so you, 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 you. Let's all do this together. You. You, and you, and you, and you. Oh, let's and get over here and hold down shift again. And you, and you, and you. All together. And you, and you, and you. And I didn't do any more. That's plenty. Let's shrink you once. Nope, that was blow up. Shrink, shrink. Because you were too big. All right, now are the other ones in the ground? You as well. <laughs> you. <laughs> Those are not in the ground, right? Okay. Oh, well, they are not any more than any other one. Okay. I felt like some of these tables over here might be like sitting right on the ground. Okay. So I was missing a couple more. Oh my god. So let's see. If I want to try to do this. Over here, and we're gonna go. You, you. I'm not gonna say this time I'll be out of breath. There's too many. Too shiny. Oh, I could have done it with. Uh, if I did it, if you, I know how I could. I know. I remember how I colored them all on the piers the one time. I thought I copied it, it was with the intersection marking tool. And I changed the color in there. And that worked for all. But since these retaining wall networks don't have any lines on them, kind of like the monorail tracks, or at least I don't think monorail tracks do yet. No ability to put lines on them in TMPE or in intersection marking tool, however you do that. You can't make custom stations on the monorail tracks as of yet. Maybe one day. Boring. Getting further down. I wish there was just the copy paste option here like there is on repaint, that would be amazing. Is that something that, would that be his integration cuboid or would that be your possibility to add and how much would I have to donate to get that work done? <laughs> Cause I would do it right now. <laughs> uh, too bad, oh well, it's a thought that counts. <laughs> hey, wall again. Well, it's tough over there. At least he came back and fixed a couple things. I mean, if you're offering cash, I probably owe you some cash for your work on the movable bridge. Not anybody else would have cared. Maybe that other guy that did it again eventually would have. If he was still working on that map with the movable bridge, I guess. I don't know. That'd be amazing if you had, like, you know, how this one does. 
or like if you whatever just right here that'd be amazing that would be amazing sir where did I stop you Right, the second fix definitely seemed more complex or it would have been done. I mean, I waited a while to come back because it was like, I thought about coming back at one point and then I saw that that new DLC was coming out like the next week. I think I like logged in to try to get into my city and saw like on Steam, new DLC. I was like, oh great, well I'll buy it. But it's like, is it going to force it to me on Thursday anyway? So I'll buy it and just sit back and then it took me another month to come again and it still wasn't, you know. And then I remember you said you'd look into it and then like I didn't come back for a few days and you never sent me like uh, I fixed it or whatever. And I didn't know it was fixed until Tommy told me it was fixed. He was like, oh, Cuboid fixed it again. I was like, oh, cool. You had just posted it on the workshop. And I hadn't thought about it in weeks. I was like, oh, I bet it's still broken. I didn't ever show up again the next day to ask him about it. You know, like, it's what uh, out of sight, out of mind, probably. <laughs> But you had done it. I had just not been paying attention. Once again, which is why. We love you so. Alright. How many tables? I zoomed out so I could see like how many more of these do I have? Jeez. Okay, then we need what? Beverage coolers, like Red Bull umbrellas and Coke umbrellas and whatever, right? And the garbage can okay I can do them all at once and set the color duh oh well that would have been good to, that would have been good to read earlier I was too focused on not missing one thanks for that tip for the next time we'll definitely remember that Trash cans. These need to be shrunk. Okay. I need like, um, do we have beverage? Where are you? I saw something. the area for once <laughs> which probably means there'd be a couple more around there too let's see what if there's anything else and then I'll just copy paste them together Maybe a couple of these for the kitties every once in a while okay, let's 
see, so that would be one place. No, they wouldn't have balloons. They wouldn't want you to release those and block people's view. Drop one of those in there, maybe. What's this one? Okay, okay. That one actually is decent. Must be part of the new, uh, something. New plazas. I haven't seen that one. Must be the old ice cream thing you're supposed to build yourself. These two, I guess. Put one of these. There. to these recycling bins but they are huge what sim could reach the top of that you ask and I say none no coke machines because they would want to sell you like the $20 version those are a little too markety that's gonna be not right what I need is awning Wise here. That could work. That could actually work pretty well. So, please in there. That'll hide anything we want. We put that in the middle with the ice cream. Oh, those storefronts work though. Shoot. Put that in there. I got a path in there. And there's no way they'd be close enough to that road. Oh, okay, but these will still work, so we'll figure it out. Uh, ice cream stay in there I think I might make it look like it's part of the stadium designed that way by some 1950s architect sessions in there that is going to be hard to do so okay I know I have there's those little fridges on the workshop by uh, oh my god what can I not remember his name Z Green Gaming right Z Green Gaming those little fridges, those work. Okay, we can put another set of this stuff on the other side. So if we go the other way around. Over there, 
Uh, we need uh, porta potties. Tons of porta potties out here, so we'll actually slide all this down. Porta potties all the way on the corner. called those are um, they're custom I remember that Porta are they called toilet or outhouse I can't remember what he called them the guy that made them with the construction props what do you call them Night Slim. All right, we are almost done with this. Since Slim's done, we're gonna play some FIFA afterwards as well. See you on your stream in the morning, Slim. Guys, if you aren't following Slim, thanks again, Slim, for shout outs today. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it very much. I want you to show me how to do that new shout out feature too. Because uh, all I know how to do is the old kind, and I would love to know how to do that kind. The newest one, you know what I'm saying? That one. How do you do that one? Does that just come automatically when you hit type it now? And I just need to get rid of the stream element shout out, or what? So it's okay, but it just one of my my one thing is my stream elements shout out that's posted in the one message in chat, but yours does the other thing. The same thing does the other, right? Okay. I don't know. Well, here's what I like. I was talking about this earlier, um, keyboard. Here's what I like about the other one, okay? For instance, if you're someone that raids and runs a lot, okay, the other one it actually shows up on my OBS. So when I open my OBS tomorrow, if I close my OBS after stream and I go raid somebody and then I open my OBS, it says when I open my OBS, everyone that shouted me out and how many viewers they had at the time that they shouted me out. So if Slim's like, or Toby is like talking about me tomorrow morning and shouts me out and I'm not even there, like it shows me that. Like I know who's showing love, you know? You don't actually have to be there to see them shout you out the way that you do the stream elements one or whatever to know that it was done. Does that make sense? I kind of like it. Because like the other day, I, I you know, went to eat breakfast or something. I came back and said, you know, Slim shouted you out with 30 viewers or whatever. I was like, oh, that's cool. Thank you. You know, like I left an hour ago, but thank you so much for the, shout, the belated shout out or whatever. You know, like, I don't know. So that's why I like the, the, that new one. I actually, like, once I gave it some thought, I was like, oh, okay. Actually, they might have got it right on that one. You know, the pin message I'm still not sure about. I mean, I like the one that does everything, too. I'll just turn off the uh, the chat message part of it and let let it do the sound and the shout out without the uh, without the double chat message, if that makes sense, because I like how it also the one that um, Twitch provides now, it, you know, allows you to go follow their channel on the button without actually leaving the stream you're in. So like. You don't have to like leave and go to Slim's channel. Follow. If I say go follow Slim, like all you have to do is click that button to follow Slim. So that's kind of neat too. Okay, since it's not game day, these could be just empty tables, right? Yeah, I like seeing that too. That's true. That's a good point. That's a good reason. Yeah. See, there's things. We just 
do like this, right? For this is a crappy old stadium, not some fancy new stadium. We could do something table wise. ice cream coolers that uh, not done yet showed me the other day that he's working on We're gonna, will fit good down here I should wait for some of them ice cream coolers and see I wanted to put do this it doesn't really look like a Which of the seven props, sir, would you like me to grab? Please be more specific. So I, want some, I need something that makes it look like there's a window there. That's what I need. I might have to look for something. Maybe one of those opportunities where my 13,000 assets isn't going to be enough. No. Oh, I could put these roll-up doors on there. That's actually an idea that could work. Maybe. There was one that would work better than that. Let's see, door. This is annoying me. How do I do this again? Um, three by, okay, that's my yet another toolbar setting. So I go there. There, you're done annoying me. It's just that simple. Annoying me all day, you're done annoying me now. Hey, Mr. Harry, see ya, have a good night. I think I need to look for a couple more things anyway, so I think it's probably time to go play some, some FIFA. Let's see if there's any of these doors that look any doorier for what I'm looking for. That could work too, maybe, but I'll set that down just for giggles. a different garage door that's better too if I look for it. Alright. Maybe I'll save that. Is it going to let me put decals and stuff on there? It probably will, right? Because that's a network. So I should be able to. Yeah, okay. Even though there's a building, I should be able to get away with it. Alright, so I need to find some doors. Just let out again. Nice traffic. We're getting there. The stadium is a lot better than it was yesterday. That is for sure. I really like the puddles and the fountain in front. That works for me. Did I ever do? No, I didn't. Okay, so this needs to happen here. Let's see. Props, trees. Get those trees.
they're not floating. a skater through here lots of banks ledges everywhere curbs steps dangerous be some good be some good tricks landed through there you'd like some skateboard animation of a dude like running through there doing kick flips that'd be amazing <laughs> so what's that about why are you double parking there whoa, whoa, whoa wait 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 is there another they've done something silly like put two parking spots in that asset and I'll come back and check that later too get lost all day checking things but anyway I think that this looks a lot better made the best of the ugly asset King Griffey in there. Maybe he's better from that angle. Well, not really. He's best from the monorail. some FIFA now. I'm going to let you sit here for a second while I go use the bathroom. And enjoy the build. I think it looks a lot better than it did, that's for sure.
It's working out. I like it. I love that elevator road. The unnecessarily elevated road with the bus that goes down it. it makes me happy. All right, so then I guess next time I'll hope to finish the little bits in the baseball stadium and build some kind of something here. I don't know what, probably. Or we'll work over here behind here, this gaping hole. Might like to finish the other side of the monorail station and this block here, actually, these blocks here, so that I get a banging shot of that, you know without the emptiness. And I think what we're gonna try to do then is work the amusement park in here, or maybe on the, uh, I don't want it on the other side of there. I wanted it out here on the beach and I still think it needs to be. So we gotta get those piers in. I gotta get the, maybe the amusement park goes in this thin, you know, long and thin stretch, like a park that winds. Or I also had a moment where I thought about putting it right here. If I did that though, I'd have to bring an exit off of there because they're already, like I had vehicles for some reason that were going to this park over here, that were coming off this ramp and going down here instead of coming off here and just going right there. So weird. Sometimes I saw that this morning. I was like, why would you be going there that way? What would choose? What would make you choose that? But anyway, I do like our little ferry pier baseball stadium is starting to fill out. So uh, that gives me, you know, hope for the next section of build. I don't know necessarily that these two are going to stay here. Honestly, they may go somewhere else or they may stay there. 